Happy Friday, let's go. Hey everyone, James and Mark here, back with another mukbang. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe or follow button and answer these questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? My name is James and this is Mark and we film mukbangs every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. As Mark mentioned earlier, happy Friday! Yay. This week was a long week. What about you? It was. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we're super excited to be here to hang out with all of y'all and we're going to be making... Looks like a feast of massive <laughs> proportion. I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail. There was no Photoshop involved in that thumbnail. That was the actual size of a tomahawk steak, which uh, is what we're going to be right making in front of today. us. Yeah, this is the star of the the evening. Yeah. So we'll uh, tell you a little bit more about how we're going to be preparing that. You guys know the drill. As we uh, hit our like goals throughout the evening, we have to take shots. If we get super chats, uh, you have a choice between making us play a drinking game or we are introducing the convo and chill game, mm. which we started last Friday. It was super popular. Was so yeah, it was a lot um, of fun too. if you super chat, you get a choice. Yeah. So let's say hi to everybody in the chat. We got Beatrice. Welcome. Welcome. Regan and Redbone. Thank you all for being here. Michael says, I've never had a tomahawk steak, but they look amazing, don't they? Julie is here. Welcome, Julie. Michael says, although we shared a dinner table on our last crew who had tomahawk steaks, and the bones reach right across the table. Wow, that's how Whoa, big the bones were. Big. We're still talking about steak, right? Bone. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got Tony saying, hey guys, hey. And Jen says, happy Easter weekend. You know what? I forgot it was Easter this weekend. The it's markets so were so busy. Oh, was it? It was so busy. Yeah. I think everyone was buying Easter dinner. Like, Oh, food. yeah. I think that's why. So the butcher was probably the busiest area. The whole market was busy. Oh. Yeah. We got Kaylee saying happy Friday night. Yes, happy Friday. Redbone had chokpal today. Mm. So we confirmed chokpal is the same part of the meat as what we had in Bopoe, right? That ring of fat part that's near the chokpal piece. Well, I know what chokpal is, but is that in Bopoe the same? Like, is the pig trotter? It's if close it to is, that part, it, yeah. Then it's the same thing then. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Now this is high peeps, tomahawk steak, can they handle that much meat? We shall see. Uh, in a moment, Mark will tell you how heavy the steak is. Uh, Julie says, I tried making these once. They took forever to cook. Well, you know what? You know how long our streams last. So <laughs> we might be eating it. Yeah, we'll be eating all night long. Yeah, we're cooking. We got Chunky Punk, welcome. Linz, welcome. Hi, Rush Girl, happy Friday. Hi, Brenda. Thank you guys all for being here. We got Julie. So happy to see you too, and equally happy it's Friday. Absolutely. We have uh, Tom Choo Choo, welcome. Uh, did everyone get a statutory holiday today? We did not. We didn't. No. No. I guess, I mean, it is Good Friday, but yeah, I think only maybe sometimes schools or some businesses do. Yeah. Uh, but not all. Yeah. Yeah. We got Peter saying hello. We got Jay Hey Hey, say hi, lovers. <laughs> hi. We got Teddy. Happy Friday, y'all. I hope everyone has a happy Easter. And look at all those cute Easter-related emojis. Oh, my gosh. Love them. Those There's a little cute. chick, like a little chick and the egg, a bunny rabbit, another bunny rabbit, and some spring flowers. Yes. Love it. We got Fly Vende saying happy Friday and happy Easter. Love, Tomahawk Steak. So excited. <laughs> We got uh, Ty Viel says, yo. Again, yo. if you are new to our stream, have not yet answered these questions. We want to know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? Yes. And thank you to all the new subs. Uh, we just hit 21K on Monday. Ooh. We're almost at 21.2 now. We act yeah, we actually, we actually hit 21K during the live. Yeah, that was exciting. It was, and we saw the counter go up. I think we should do that every time we're about to hit some kind of like, land, like mm. not land, milestone, milestone. milestone. Yeah. We got Mythical Suki over on Twitch, and thank you so much for volunteering to be a mod over on Twitch. We uh, needed we needed some support last week, and I was pouring my heart out, and Mythical Suki uh, offered to help us out. So we really appreciate that. Hopefully, the chat on Twitch stays clean today. Uh, Tony says, well, how do you get the bone or at least a bite? We probably will save him a piece, but we will not do the bone situation. <laughs> 
Uh, Mo says, hi, cutie pie has been watching the replay sitting down to dinner with you now. So Mo says, tonight I should try to take shots and not let it sit. Just take it. Who lets it sit? Me. Why? I don't know. They watched the previous video and said, maybe that's why you don't like it. So I need to go back. Remember how I was really good at one point? I, I slowly reverted back to can't do it. Now I have like a chaser. So I got to just get into that mindset again. Oh, yeah. You know? Is that why you got, you asked me to bring a uh, vice Oh, Sprite was just it as a chaser tonight. Sprite was unrelated because I saw Angelina Spicy drinking 7 Up the other day and I really wanted 7 Up. Okay. So there's like a, it was that reason. <laughs> we got parties and hey guys, I had Asha noodles for dinner tonight and thought of y'all. Awesome. Yeah. We are their unofficial brand <laughs> representative, apparently. We got Eddie saying hi, everybody. Welcome, Eddie. Hi, Olivia. Well, happy Friday. Happy Friday. We got Tara saying happy Friday and Easter. Easter. <laughs> Easter. We got Didi saying hola from Chula Vista. And awesome. Have a great time in Big Bear. Enjoy. Oh, the weather must be so beautiful yeah. on the mountains right now. Julie posted pics of our steaks on Discord. If you guys are curious what our Discord is, just check out the link in our description after the stream is over and come hang out with everyone there afterwards. Uh, Bubba says, just one steak, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> these are, yeah, we're gonna get into how big these are in a They're moment. Super we got big. Chastity using the Hedu emoji saying hi, hi. Hi, over on Twitch land. Welcome, welcome. We got, uh, let's see. Redbone says, a very long week. I left my office in shambles, paperwork everywhere. I was just ready to leave the office three-day weekend. Awesome. Enjoy. The work is going to be there when you go back in, so shamble is it's okay. <laughs> and Arts by Sarah says, what a huge steak. Hi, everyone. Yes, it is a huge steak. Vic says, miss y'all. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Lisa Marie is also here. Hi. Happy Friday. Yeah, we got welcoming. Well, how do you like Discord? It's awesome, Tom. If you... Um, really want to build a community like outside of YouTube. I think it's a great platform to be able to do that. Sometimes we play games. Sometimes we just hang out and drink. Sometimes we just listen to each other's music. And then you get to see what everyone else is up to uh, throughout the week. So it's really awesome. We got Lee saying hi. And we got Average Gamer 369 over on Twitch who redeemed Take a Shot. OK. So let's wow. just do that. Let's get that um, going. Thank you. Uh, today we came prepared. So we got our, oh my god. Is it frozen in this? I want to take the whole thing out. If how do you freeze in there? I don't know. There we go. go. Oh. So we're using our chiller, courtesy of Julie and Bubba. Just if, for a comparison, this is a carrot. Mm. And it's not a big carrot. It's a it's a you know, it's a cute carrot with the leaf still, but look how how it looks next to the steak, you know. Yeah, why don't uh while I get these shots poured. Tell us more about the steak. Where'd yeah. you get it? How big is it? How, what's your plan of attack? So this is um, about three and a uh, three and a quarter pound tomahawk steak. It's prime grade, so it's going to be a good quality uh, tomahawk steak. This is not dry aged because <laughs> last time when we had tomahawk oh, yeah. steak, it was actually dry aged for like forty five days. Uh, the this is just a fresh uh, cut of meat. And um, we will be reverse searing it. So we're going to actually cook it in the oven first, slowly. And then when we're about to eat, we're going to just sear the outside for that crust and flavor. But we're going to, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to do reverse sear. And then what's our sides? James is going to make some ro oven roasted tomatoes and carrots. Potatoes. What did I say? Tomatoes. Oh, oh shoot. Because I was looking at tomatoes. Yeah. You're tomatoes. making these. And then some, as a garnish, some roasted uh, tomatoes yeah. too. So these veggies came through this new, um, like, it's kind of like Blue Apron, but with just fresh produce. So it's called Farm to Fresh. And this week we had potatoes and carrots. We're like, well, why don't we integrate that with what we're actually eating yeah. for dinner? So Straight from the farm. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be very exciting. Here's your shot. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to, okay, I'm going to try to take it without the chaser, I guess. Uh -oh. I'll just do it all the way. Ready? You can have a tomato as a chaser. I'd rather take a chase. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. That. Oh, you made the face, but I did it. Mm. Oh, but now it's spicy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's a good way to start the weekend. Hi, Mila. Welcome to the live stream. Have fun in Big Bear. 
You guys enjoy your vacation. You don't need to watch Uncles on live right now. Watch if, you, if you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like there's going to be a sharing problem here. Bubba says two steaks, two people. Otherwise, there's words to be had. There is no way we would be making two of these. Though in our mukbang, we did, we did do two steaks. Trivia question in the chat. If you remember what we wore in that mukbang, drop it in the chat. Let's see who's the super fan okay, oh. um, amongst the mix. Um, Kelly says, I feel new San Diego, tomahawk steak, and red. Red bone. Red? How did you find this? I feel red? new. So, so I'm from San Diego. My favorite food is tomahawk steak and red. So maybe red bone? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with that. We don't know. We don't know. And but San that's an educated Diego guess. San Diego is so beautiful. Yes. Yeah, these are pretty carrots. Yeah. I just want I just want to eat them like a horse right now. Or like a Bugs Bunny. Mm. What's up, Doc? <laughs> These are like so carroty that all of the I don't even know what those parts roots. are. Oh yeah, they're, they're like coming out of the. There's still roots on them. Yeah. I mean, this is okay. I still want to, of course. Then, and Elaine says, "Good Friday, everyone." And Mikey says, "I love SD." Me too. <laughs> Us too. SD Hammer. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that joke did not land. This is like the RuPaul roast and. You, you're like Simone. Uh, I was gonna say, excuse me, National Sarcastic Society. You don't have to show everyone the shirt. Okay, so are we just chilling for a little bit before we have to like dig in deep? No, we can start. Well, this is gonna probably take an hour in the oven to cook. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so let's, um, you're gonna prep first. this first. Yeah, so, so let's, let's just move these. Y'all got to see all the presentation, you know, we're all about the aesthetic. Okay, and then we actually tilted this up so you all could have a better view. But now you know. But now you know. Julie says white and yellow t-shirts. Nope, not that. Maybe no one saw that video. That's the realization I just had. Josh, thank you for reminding everyone to hit that like button. And Average Gamer, if you're still here, I hope you enjoyed us getting that redemption. Rachel says, hey, James and Mark, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well. Ah, Julie probably went back in time and looked. Red Buffalo, check. Check. You, like, check we were trying check. to be like Paul Bunyan fashion yeah. for that episode. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, do you want to do like a size compare? Like, how big of it compared to faces? Like, it's the size of your face. I have a small face. Just kidding. We bought this for our um, Joshua Tree. We, we used and then we used it for our sure. steak there for our wedding anniversary and instead of like only using it once and that's it like and let's just use this we didn't mind this one right so this one has um hey go what does it have salt garlic and onion some sugar spice spices lemon peel citric acid and actual flavor <laughs> so this is also not just a big but look how thick it is. It is a no. pretty thick cut, yeah. So we need a lot, a lot of seasoning. You can be aggressive with the seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> Tony says, I can barely remember what I wore yesterday. So true, yeah, that's a, that's a tall order to ask you. Oh, uh, Kelly repeated her comment, not red bone, red wine. Steak and red wine, favorite food. Oh, we, we are gonna drink red wine. I think tonight with our food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Sounds so good. Okay. Pat, 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 pat. Ooh. Hey, baby. Hey, sexy. <laughs> Mikey says, OMG, this is a sign. I just seen Melissa eating that steak a couple days ago, and now you guys need to be next. Oh, right. She went to Ruth Chris. Melissa. Oh, did she? Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I'll take a picture and send it to her later. And Josh with a like goal update. Three more likes to hit that like button. Oh, yay. Yes. That's... Please like the video and hit the subscribe button. Okay. 
So uh, how was everyone's week? Let us know in the comments. Hope you all had a great week. It's already April. We gotta get all sides of it. it smells really fragrant already, with the seasoning. It does. Oh my God, that looks cute. Look good. I should take a picture. Tell me when you're just done. like this. It just looks good seasoned too. Like I just want to take it for all steps. Yeah. I'm trying to be a, bite, bite. like a, a TikTok star, you know. This is a good angle. We should just cut the steak like this. Oh, like, yeah. Like s sitting up like this. Bubba says, uh, we need some of the McCormick spicy Montreal steak seasoning. We'll get that next time. This one is just, it's from Weber. It's called Steak and Chop. We only had it one time. Oh, oh. oh me out. Be careful. Oh, I wasn't looking. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I'm just being dramatic. Of course, we can give you a shout out. Happy birthday to Rachel. It's her birthday today. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. How are you celebrating? Tina asks, has it been sitting out or straight from the fridge? Sitting out. Why do we have it sit out? So that it could get closer to room temperature for even cooking. Yes, it's super important. Tina knows what's up. Yeah. Right? Do you think she asked that hoping that we were wrong so she could say, no, you're actually supposed to do it this way? <laughs> Either case, thanks for watching now. We got Mary Ann saying hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, Tara uses that seasoning too. It makes it oh, really? tasty steak. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this into our baking sheet with the rack. Oh, and why is the rack a good idea? So it could cook all like 360 you know yeah no i think around. it helps yeah oh my gosh you need me hold this for a second um yeah. take your gloves off and are we done well we have to be done with this war because we already had raw meat on it yeah i could do a quick wash okay but we actually don't this this steak was um about 60 dollars mm -hmm. so we don't want to mess it up no so we're gonna use our handy dandy meat thermometer um, the good thing about this meat thermometer is we're going to just, you know, use it, but then it comes with another controller where it's wireless. So we could just have that controller near us so we could check on the temperature mm. without having to get up. That's awesome. Okay. So how do you like your meat, James? Uh, medium rare. My instinct was to say stiff, but that's not appropriate. Mm. It is Friday and I had one shot already. How about you? Rare to meter merge. So let's just cook this rare, mm. and then um, and then if because it cooks longer, then it becomes medium rare. Yeah. So I'll be right. We're gonna BRB. Later. Oh my god, how heavy is that? <laughs> it looks heavy. Yeah, you guys, let us know in the chat how you guys like your steak cooked. Uh, and Tina, we had some veggies that we showed earlier in the stream that we'll be eating. So you see that in a moment. Welcome, Candice. Happy Friday. I'm so happy to catch you live. Welcome. Happy Friday to you. Okay, Mythical Suki, we're a little embarrassed. We don't have shout outs enabled. We don't even know how, how, to, how to enable them. So. But we'll, we'll keep an eye out on the, the Twitch uh, chat as well. Tina's favorite is Korean green onion salad. Awesome. We got Kevin saying, love you both, Mark and James. You both are awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're looking spiffy in your suit. I can't see much more, but it looks like you're outdoors. Almost like at a wedding. Thanks for being here. Stacy. we are doing good. Thanks for being here, Dwayne. Happy Good Friday, handsome men. Thank you. Eddie is team medium rare. Queen Jenna says, James and Mark, myself and my son, wish you both a beautiful and safe Easter weekend ahead. Many blessings both to you both. We love you both. Thank you so much. We got rare to medium rare. We got medium. Team rare, Brenda says. Uh, Candice, with the $10 super chat, take a shot, play a game if you want. And so Candice, this is how it works now. We can either play the game or we have, we have another game called Convo and Chill where we just pull a question from here 
And then we just have to answer on stream. And then we also ask you guys to participate in the chat. So Candace, don't feel bad either way. Just tell us what to do. We can play the game. We can play the drinking game or we can play the convo game. You, you let us know. And once Mark gets back, we'll do our little jingle for you. Thank you for being our first super chat of the evening. We got medium rare, medium rare. Michael says, I can't do bloody meat. We're at 55 likes. Thank you so much. Mila says, Mila says, I like my steak medium rare. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Link up with the IT department over there. I'm sure they, they got a way better setup over on Twitch than we do. Bubba says, my steak should moo. And J Dreams is having spaghetti and meat sauce. Awesome. Excuse me. Sure. So I, I did a quick wash so we could just use the board again. Awesome. Tara's also a medium rare. I like mine rare, medium well. I like mine rare, but sometimes um, if it's like too rare, then I think about other people sitting like, oh. at the same table, hmm. and I don't want to like get them like all like all weird. Got it. So then I get medium rare to um, you're so thoughtful to be considerate, you know. <laughs> Are you, are you considerate when you order a round of shots and we've already drank too much? You consider it then? Well, they want a round of shots. They want a round of shots? Yeah. And by they, me? <laughs> Wait, what were you showing? So oh, it says beef? Well, I chose beef. Oh, okay. But uh, so right now, our meat's at 54 degrees, which is cold. Oh, 54. That's cold, yeah. Well, because, you know, it's been in the fridge. That's the same as the wine fridge. Yeah. So our meat thermometer is wireless. So we could go to the bathroom with this and be like, oh, what temperature is my steak? And you will, you could you could know. Awesome. So we're going to check in, what, in another like 10 minutes just to see if it's gone up. I'm sure it has. It will. No, we're slow cooking it. Oh, slow so cooking. maybe it's going to be take a while. Than that. Yeah. I hope you guys have a drink and some food in hand. It's going to be it's going to be a long good night, though. Oh, I heard we got a super chat. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding us. Miss Candace. No lights yet. Okay, because it's early. All right. All right, ready? Yes. Candace, Candace, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you again so much for the $10 super chat. I know I'm gonna scroll down and find out if we're gonna take do the shot game or we're gonna do combo oh. and chill. So we will get down to that. We got Heather in the house. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, Heather. What's up, Heather? So now you know what it feels like to be on a three-hour stream. Her and Tom were streaming for about three hours today. Oh, wow. It is. It is. It could, it could, it's like a marathon. But if you do it enough times, it goes by so fast. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Endurance. Stamina. <laughs> we got Queen Jenna says, team medium rare with sea salt rosemary rub. Ooh. Awesome. All right. Candace has decided that we are going to do convo and chill okay so we will pull that out in a moment let me get caught up real quick stasis is rare all the way we have to take a shot because we hit the light goal so i'm going to just let you get that we're going to multitask today sorry i can't pull it out right now mark with the nifty gadgets right and eddie yes is this a reverse sear type of situation that is what we are doing we're reverse searing it yes Low rule says hi, and then Korean characters. Hi, Yoda Boon. Yoda Boon. Yoda Boon. Oh, do you remember this viral video? Um, years ago, before like things were viral, oh. I want to say it might have been the first before viral YouTube video. Then, <laughs> maybe, probably the first viral video ever. Oh, probably. but oh, it's like what is these like really skinny shirtless Korean guys, and they like sing this weird like upbeat like song and then i don't know like and they, they start like dancing okay. all weird we have to watch this after the stream i, I know you know what it okay. is yeah I, but even though you described it so vividly i don't know what it's it all, is it's all pixelated and blurry oh are like, you this sure is, this is like this is <laughs> like this is back when like there were cameras you know so it's like anyway Cheers. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, please don't make me feel like I'm crazy. Ooh, okay, I need a little sippy. Um, do they sell chummy in England? I don't believe so, but don't quote me on it. May, if you, the best bet is to go to a Korean market. 
and see if they have it there. Honey Badger, did you just get here? Because we just put the meat in the oven. So it's not going to be like probably another hour till you see it again, right? Probably an hour? I 45 minutes to an hour. 45 minutes, yeah. But it looks so beautiful. We had it sitting and we were seasoning it too. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? We are making a chimichurri sauce to go along with the um, steak. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Mark, actually, the first memory I have of Mark making this sauce was like for an anniversary dinner at your old place. Yeah. So that was at least five, seven years ago. More than that, probably. Yeah. Uh, Melanie says, hey, guys, I will be watching you till the 1 a.m. in my daughter's house. Uh, moving around, but I will be watching. Awesome. We got Princess here. Mm. We are taking soju tonight. Julie says, I need James's shirt. It's speaking to me. I like your shirt. Yeah. You got it as a gift? Yes, I did get it. I will thank so Sean when he gets here. Well, it someone says, probably thinks you're, you are sarcastic. I'm not sarcastic by any means. I don't think I'm sarcastic. Do you? No. It says National Sarcastic Society, there's, like we need there's your a, there's a support. typo. It should be National Sassy Society. <laughs> uh, that I could be like founder of. <laughs> I would I would believe that. All right, so th this is just a um a lot of parsley and then also uh chives and tarragon and some th oh th tarragon, that's fancy. Just a little bit of tarragon. Tarragon to me um smells like licorice. Mm. And then some shallots. Shallots. Fivendi wants to get one of those wireless meat thermometers. Yes. It's very helpful. Oh, it went up. It went up a degree. Awesome. Do you prefer sake or soju? I feel like Mark will have to say soju. No, I like sake. <gasps> we did have a lot of sake on Thursday. Wednesday. 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 Yes. Thursday was just yesterday. Oh, like a Thursday just was the aftermath of Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways. And I just, I probably like soju more, but it depends on the sake. If it's really good sake, oh, then it goes out yeah, smooth. Oh, yeah, the premium sake. Yeah. yeah. Queen Jenna says, I don't promote drinking because I had too many loved ones die from it, but I definitely want you both to drink a non-alcoholic drink on me. Stay safe, James and Mark forever. Thank oh, you so much, Queen you. Jenna. You know what? We'll just, uh, we have the alternative. So Which instead of combo and chill. So we'll pull another combo okay, and we'll chill. Okay, we'll do two combo Thank and you chill. so much yeah. for the uh, super chat. I love your name. How fitting, because we're wearing crowns. I decided to turn on the lights. No. Uh, oh, I should, okay. That's a good idea. Cause it, cause we closed the blinds, so it's a little bit darker in here. Yeah. Okay. All right, ready? All right. Queen, Queen Jenna, Jenna, Queen Jenna, Jenna Queen. Queen. Oh, I got really into the name. Yeah. I okay, let's start again. Okay. Ready? Queen, Queen Jenna, Jenna, Queen Jenna, thank you. We appreciate you. Awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat. We're gonna pull the cards so we have them on hand. Mark's gonna continue making our chimichurri. Yeah, so, oh, sorry. Okay. We added, so far we added some shallots, garlic, a lot of parsley. Now we're adding some capers. Here's the secret ingredient. Oh, what do you guys think that is? What do you think this is? What's in that? Looks like a really big dog tag. <laughs> no? Sure, real quick. Okay, these both look like not questions we've done. <laughs> oh my gosh, should do it over there. Oh, Tony is subscribed to a sake club and a wine club. Amazing. Nafisa Gaming says, hi, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Bear the Berry says, hi, y'all. I'm about to buy comb. We'll listen on my phone and then join back in once I'm there. And they're medium to medium well. Tarragon butter is good for seafood. Oh, we should. We never really done um, compound butter. We, yeah, or if we, we did, it's it. not like on video. Yeah. Tara's going to look for soju at the local Asian market. Awesome. Good luck. There. The good thing about soju, they're not expensive. Mm, so no, yeah, they're affordable. They're it's really cost effective. Stray Gat's having cooked filet mignon, baked yams, and potato sour cream chives tonight. Awesome. 
All sounds delicious. Ray says, hey, James and Mark, I am here for the meat. Aren't we all? Isn't that why I even clicked on it, you know? Uh, and you, everyone's saying sardines or anchovies. Is, is there a difference? There is a difference, right? E, they're very similar, they're but similar, these are actually but... anchovies. So add them to your pizza or to your chimichurri sauce. How much do you add? Just like a few slivers? Mm, I might do like four or five. Because we're not adding any, oh, I might add a little bit of salt and pepper, but we don't need to add a lot of salt and pepper because these are salty already. Mm. We got Arib saying hi. Mikey says, Sake Club, tell me more. Yeah, tell us more. I know, I might want to join it. Eddie Bone, welcome. Hey guys, love your channel. Welcome. I You have no relationship to our other subscriber named Redbone, right? Oh, how interesting. Just, just asking. Miss Sydney Noel, welcome. We're doing good. How are you? Thanks for joining the live stream. We also got 420 Grizzly here as well. We are making a chimichurri sauce right now. Iris had Cajun shrimp. We're doing a tomahawk steak. It's already in the oven. So it's going to be cooking in there for a little while. If you just join the stream. You will see it later. And Tony, thank you so much for this $10 super chat. Oh, and said gosh. drinking game. That absolutely can be arranged. Tony is smart because she knows that we've lost so many weeks in a row. Every Everyone, single drinking game. Everyone. Every, Every Friday I go home, I go to bed like, wow. What did we do? <laughs> what happened? What happened? My hair is always a mess by the end of the stream. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, Look how vibrant this looks, guys. I don't know if you guys see that. All right, pop quiz, what's in here? <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as Mark wraps up the sauce, we will uh, do our little singy game. Flyvenny says, I always keep a jar of homemade chimichurri in my fridge. We eat a lot of steak. Awesome, that sounds good. There, so, there was a spot in Temecula that we bought their chimichurri and we brought oh, it home. Yeah. I forgot the name of that brewer, uh, winery. It had the motorcycles. Yeah. So we're actually, so this is not authentic chimichurri, by the way. Why? I think authentically, like, you don't add anchovies or capers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's just, oh, I didn't know that. Michelle says, happy Good Friday, all. Welcome. And yes, anchovies are in Caesar dressing. I did not know that anchovies were in Caesar dressing for like the longest time. Yeah, it's not something that you would think of, you know? Like I would eat it thinking, this is a vegetarian dish. It's not. It's not vegetarian, <laughs> no. Who knew? Next, he says, hey, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Sydney's mom is making Korean oxtail soup for dinner. Oh. Is there a name for that? Kori Jin? Kori and Hedu is doing really well. Thanks for asking. He works. He's he's probably in the bedroom mm -hmm. right now. Uh, Besson, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Dalberto says, "Yo, big fan, love the lives and content. Keep up the great work, guys. My favorite YouTuber. Oh, oh thank my you so god, much. favorite. Oh my gosh, that means <laughs> a lot to us." <laughs> Emerita, oh my gosh, Emerita just stopping in to say a big hi to everyone. I miss everyone so much. I'm doing much better. Stay safe, guys. Oh, we've oh, missed you so, so much. Nice to hear. We're so happy to see you pop in the chat. Uh, we are not making Worcestershire sauce. We are making just chimichurri. So there's a lot of herbs, garlic, shallots, anchovies, capers, olive oil, oh. salt and pepper. No, no salt, just pepper. I, oh my gosh. I want to add Thai chili pepper to this. Oh, Does yeah. that like two? Yeah. Because like, live your life. Yeah, might as well, right? Make it spicy. Everybody in the chat, let's all welcome Grace. Hey, new watcher, just stumbled here. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being here, Grace. Uh, we like to ask everyone that first joins our channel these three questions. 
where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? We welcome Grace. Yeah. So my name is James, and that was Mark. We're a married couple from Southern California. We film mukbangs every Monday and Wednesday, every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. And then we also do uploads on YouTube Wednesdays at around 4 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for uh, stumbling here. Was were we in your recommended or like the next video that played after? We got Shauna here saying, just got home from work. Awesome, thanks for hanging out with us another Friday night. Us too, Je Jenna, we were very shocked about anchovies being in Sea the Salads. And Emjin has been paying attention, parsley, shallots, garlic, anchovies, capers, olive oil, red wine, vinegar, salt. I think you missed one ingredient. It starts with a T and it's an herb, right? One. Just it's gonna get chopped in the food processor. Yeah, that's it. Okay, do you do we dare to do three? Sure. Might as well. You already have it. I already have it. Yeah. All right, so I'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and process this. Yeah. Process this. Chop this or what you want to call it. Yes. And uh yeah, me and Mark have both gotten our first shot already. We're both scheduled to get our second by the end of this month. It is 6 38 p.m. for us. And you know what? We're getting by, Ella. We're like feeling hopeful, feeling good. All right, so this might go on. I might mute it for a minute. Or is it too loud? Let's let's see. Oh, you have to do, you have to slide it in a way where it like snaps. That's the confusing thing about that. And I always forget. So we have like this mini like food processor. Uh, over on the other side of the kitchen island. So the tricky thing is we don't use it often, so we always forget how to like strap it in. Oh, I think you're getting closer. Like there's a thing on the right side that has a, on the top of the lid. So that yeah, exactly. hooks in a certain way. All right, guys, uh, leave in the chat how long you think it'll take before it actually turns on. I remember having to use this on a stream one time and I could not figure it out. Bubba says, do you guys work out before work or after work? I had off today and a 9 a.m. workout was kind of early. Uh, the question you should start out with is, do you guys work out? No. We should probably get back into it. Do you have a favorite Korean food, Mark? Oh, that's really hard. Yeah, that's hard. I like them all. I mean, I like them all. They're all good. I agree. Mark is quite the chef. Yeah, we're not making Caesar dressing. We were just talking about it. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Uh, Grace is from LA, actually, Marina Del Rey. Awesome. I'm sure, we'll get to your other answers. Ms. Jen Wingo says, Hey, guys, you're so much fun. You remind me of. Tabby Eats, love the cooking parties. Awesome, thanks for being here. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to be here on a regular basis. Uh, we live stream every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Tonight we are making steak if you just joined. Mark is off camera right now trying to figure out this blasted food processor thing. We might tag out soon. James, sure. <laughs> And yes, it was tarragon, that last ingredient. Grace says, I forgot the question and you're in my next recommended video and I was too cutie, so I decided to try. Well, I hope you have no regrets. No regrets, right, Grace? Uh, the second question is, what is your favorite food? You got it. Yes. What was the trick? What was the trick? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, there you go. You guys hear that? One minute, one minute. Mm, do you think there's too much components in there? Oh, so it's still not attached yet. Uh oh. Queen Jenna, thank you for supporting us as long as you have. Quarantine is lonely. Well, we hope that we can offer some. Oh, there it goes. Eureka, it's working. 
I was going to say, I hope having the live stream and we can feel like we're hanging out makes up for it a little bit. Grace says, I love champong. Oh, champong is really good. So is champong the same thing they ate in Vicencio? The really spicy? Yeah. That's champong? That's champong. That sounds good. I love champong too. Mine is really, mine is so loud. Yes, we're going to send you positive vibes, Regan. I just caught your full comment up above. Haven't missed a live in months. We appreciate the support. We're definitely going to taste test this uh, before we even eat the steak. So I think you might be right, Loeb. Uh, Worcestershire sauce is anchovy based. Yes. Now, you need to jog my memory. We still need to sing for Tony, right? Oh, we didn't do that. But I don't think we did that because I don't remember saying Tony. Tony. Yeah, I don't remember. But you're fine. Take your time. It's a chill night. Oh. I'll give you a little close up of it. Looks good. Let me try it. Yeah. You think it's spicy? No, I don't. We only added three. I don't think it'll be that spicy. Mmm. It's it very fragrant. Um, you can taste the citrus. I don't taste the spice at all. We should add it more. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Next time. You know, we try. We try. We always try. Okay, so we're going to just let this sit out for... So we so, eat it. Right? So the, yeah, so the flavors all meld. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Tony, Tony, Tony thank you. We appreciate you. And she requested the card game. Oh, so let's do the card game. game and then we'll get to the convo and chill components. Because we have time, we don't have to make the sides like right away, right? Because we still have to time it with the steak a little bit. Yeah, let's do this and then you could we could start working on the sides. Okay. All right. Let's oh, what did it go up to? 68 degrees. 68 degrees. 68 degrees. Isn't that yeah. a group? Boy band? 98 degrees. That's 30 degrees too cold. <laughs> Uh, Mila says, where's Elda? I think Elda's probably still working. Oh, yeah. All right, ready? So we're playing this collectively. If we lose, it's a game of high or low. Very simple. Okay. First card is a queen. I'm, okay, low. 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 Seven. Ooh, I'm going to say high. I'm going to agree. Okay. Jack, low. Low. Oh, my God. Why is there always ties? Tie means automatic lose. So, wow. On a jack, too. It's okay. Well, we have this here. Okay. Oh, for the number of drinks? Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Ray's Ray. here. Okay. Ray says, let's smash that like button and hit that 100 like goal. I want the drinking game. Okay. All right. So we're gonna bring back the cards. Bring back the cards. Is bring that, back is the that cards. Candy. No, we have to do the thing. Let's do first. the game because I already flipped the card okay. and then we'll sing. It's two, two. So we have to say black or red. I'm gonna go with black because that's the color of his crown. Fine, black. You don't agree, huh? No, black. Oh, oh low, low. low. Seven. Seven. Not this again. I'm still gonna go high because mathematically, there's more high than low. All right. Okay, high. It's gonna be a seven. High. Ten. <gasps> low. Low. But I think it's high. Ooh, okay, so we, we bypassed it. 
Was that five? five? Oh, you forgot how, how it's been so long since we won. This is the first time we won in, in a, so in a long years. time. Well, I'm not even exaggerating. Oh my god! All right, let's let's sing the ray while we okay. got our crowns on. Ready? Ray, Ray, thank you. We appreciate you. Woo. All right. So you want to do a question first, and then Drake after, and then another question. Okay. Okay. So the question is, if one of the somebody in the chat can like just drop it in the chat so we can pin it, and we'd love for you to also answer the question. Should you tell your partner everything, or is keeping some things private needed for a healthy relationship? Mm. Should you tell your partner everything, or is keeping some things private needed for a healthy relationship? Mm. Mm. Tell them everything, or keep some things private. Mm. That's, this is a hard this is a hard one. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be one of those like Mjin, thank you so much for writing it. It's on the screen. You guys are welcome to participate too. We're gonna have a little discussion this is a hard one. on that question. Now oh, here's here's my thought process. Okay. Or do you wanna go first? No, go cool. first. I think I don't think you need to tell them everything. However, if you're withholding things that could be detrimental to the relationship, then that's when you need to tell yourself, is this something that I should be keeping private? So if it's something that has the potential to hurt the relationship, obviously you want to make sure you express that to your partner. However, there's other things where it's like, I don't know, maybe you want to process how to like deal with a conflict or a situation without telling your partner right away. I think that's okay. You don't have to tell them everything you're feeling all the time. So I think it's just, I think it's more or less, you have to kind of base it off of like, what's the what's the end goal in me sharing this information with my partner? And if there is severe consequences to it, then kind of reconsider, is this something that I should be sharing or not? Mm. So I, I, found, I find like, so I'm, I'm more in the like, I think there is a need for some level of privacy for a healthy relationship because I don't know, like, you don't even know everything that I'm thinking, right? Because sometimes, sometimes I do do that, or Mark does that, and then that ends up becoming more of a, a tailspin of other things too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, I was gonna say that um, I think it's healthier to be able to have some privacy, even if you're in a relationship, because after all, we are individuals before we're not an individual. I mean, hold on, let me rephrase that. We're just individuals, mm. right? We're not sharing a brain. We're not, you know, we're not infused together. Yes, in matrimony and in, in, in relationship, of course. Yeah. But it, I, the way how I see it, it's like a Venn diagram, you know? Mm. Oh, where, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, where um, of course there's some parts that we share and we have and we love sharing but we are individuals and there are things that you know james doesn't need to know i mean i'm not saying anything negative or anything but i'm sure there are things that we just want to do as individuals so if call it privacy call it your own hobby call it this is your netflix show that you want to watch that you don't need to have like your partner like you know watching with you like whatever that may be that's that part of the venn diagram you know mm -hmm. so i think that is healthy but now the couple should determine, you know, how much to, um, you know, how to move the the yeah, to... Stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's me just telling you, you know, how I feel. All right, let's let's see what people said. Bubba says brutal honesty. Stray guy says agree. Keep some keep some things private. Mm -hmm. Half pint says keep some things private. Tony says, you got to keep some things private as long as they aren't bad. It's kind of like what I was saying a little bit either earlier. Whip says, context, I don't need to know you're going to the bathroom, but I want to know if you're unhappy. Mm. Now, what if it is, Whip, if they're unhappy because of something you did in the bathroom, should that person tell you? Because <laughs> Mark doesn't hold back. Every time I leave the bathroom and maybe I didn't like do the courtesy second flush, He'll make it known. 
He'll make it known. Not all he'll go time. in and he'll be like, oh, maybe 20, baby. Maybe 25% I make it known. But the other 75%, I'm like, like, why even bring it up? There's been 20% of the time recently where I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to, like, ruin your flow. I'll tell you offline. <laughs> or can I just say it now? No. <laughs> At keep least it, I keep it private. At least I ask. So that it's this, this, and then YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so what part can YouTube though? Um, and he says, keep some things private as long as it's not hurtful, damaging to the relationship. If it comes out, it's true. Mm. Uh, depends on the partner and the topic, but honesty is best. Sometimes it can be rough to hear. Mm. <laughs> Lobe says something's private, like that body I buried. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. it's not. It's no longer private. <laughs> Julie says, "Tell everything that is important." Bubba doesn't need to know some women healthcare stuff. Shauna says, "You should tell your partner everything." Oh. I can't lie to my bestie. Bubba, who's your bestie? <laughs> everything. My BF and I are very open and honest. If you're doing something, you. You, doing something to keep private, you probably shouldn't be doing it. So let's think of an example where we've kept something private, but it wasn't like bad. Bad. So yeah. like, let's think. Someone in the chat can also think of an example. Like, you know, when um, not that you wouldn't tell me, but if James went out for lunch and had a really good meal. And he's like, oh, I don't want to let Mark know because like, like he'll want this food. I, I don't know, does that happen? Oh, no, maybe that's not a good it thing. happened this week and I told you, hey, I'm having lunch with so-and-so. I know, but, um, hmm. Oh, I know example. Mm. Like if I'm having a really like horrible day at work, but I don't want to let, I don't want to have anyone know because it's embarrassing. Cause I made like, let's just say I made a mistake at work. Mm. I, I just want to deal with it at work. I'll, I'll take care of it, but I don't want you to know because like it's embarrassing. Like I, I don't want to let you know that that happened at work. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, that could be part of it, right? That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Has that happened? It hasn't happened, but I'm trying to think of an example. Oh, it hasn't happened. I'm trying to think of like an actual thing. Oh. I hope, I hope the fact that we're not coming up with anything is making people believe, oh, that's why you should tell your partner everything, but I'm sure there's examples. Oh, I mean, I guess there's been occasions where like even on YouTube, like if I'm on the back end and I see like hurtful comments, like I don't necessarily need to go to Mark to say, hey, this person said this about you or said this about us. Mm. Cause I just don't think it's, for me, I don't think it's productive to share that, but I know it's been said and then I kind of just, deal with it and then I move on from it. So I don't have to like tell you every single or, instance of that. Or happening. like if you're mad at me and you like bent to a friend, oh Mark, like, oh mm. he did this. Like you don't necessarily need me to know. Oh yeah. Details. Absolutely. So that's something another private, right? Yeah. Oh, if your best friend tells you a secret. That's happened on multiple occasions. And usually when a best friend tells me a secret, I'm I also out of courtesy say, um like, I just want to make sure you're like, you don't want me to like tell anyone, like even Mark, because mm. it's like, I don't wanna, I don't ever even want to assume that because I tell someone and then they're in a relationship and they're married to the person, obviously they're going to bring it up in casual conversation. Right. But there's been instances where mm. I've even had to clarify like, oh no, this stays between us and it's not supposed to be like shared out. Mm. So mm -hmm. I, <laughs> straight guys says, I keep my carnal thoughts about Kamu Young to myself. Well, there you go. <laughs> Carnal thoughts. I like that, the way that sounds. Oh, complexion. Thank you so much. I'm the 100th liker. Oh, Thank nice. you for liking the video. Thank you. And Miss Sydney says, I just talked to my friends about my problems and not telling my mom and dad. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have someone that, that's the thing. It's just like, obviously, it, it is good. It's healthy, I think. If you're having a problem with your partner and for some reason, in that moment, you can't address it with the partner. If you need to have that conversation with a friend, they, the partner doesn't need to know that you have another outlet to deal with the situation. Mm. So very deep. Thank you guys all for participating. We got two more uh, things that we got to do here. So Marcus Cunning. Oh, I've never seen a red carrot before. It looks orange to me, though. Yeah. Does it? 
I mean, it's, red. It's, it's deeper than a normal carrot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's so red. Yeah. Oh, it gets red. Yeah. Should this be a color of a lipstick? The red carrot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like we're already at 129. So we didn't take our 100 like goal shot. Are we? Yes, yeah, so we are at 100. All right, I'll pour another one. We still have to drink one for sure. We have to drink two for sure now, and we have another convo and chill. So let's drink one. I'm gonna add a card in a card so we know to. Oh, it's just one card. So keep it easy. Thank you for everyone for liking the video. <gasps> I broke the leaf. But we're gonna cut the leaf off anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, then we're good. We're going to just do it for the 100th like goal then. We're not at 129, apparently. You know what? I'm, I should just take the loose off now. Mm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, so everyone. Happy goal. Friday. Oh. 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 Ah. I love when carrots come with the leaf. Doesn't it make it look like a real carrot? You know? Everybody, welcome. Pablo just joined this live stream, and it's interesting, especially showing me how to cook this as well. So nice. Oh. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Uh, since you joined the stream later, uh, we actually have a tomahawk steak that we were reverse searing. So it is in the oven right now. Uh, so stay. So stick you around. can see it. You can see the finished product. And let us know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? Yes. And please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow our subscriber count. Hi, Elda. Mila was asking for you earlier. And Kasha, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. What's going on? We're just chilling. Just chilling. Chilling and just having dinner. Making you know? an easy stream. April, I know you've been here. I just wanted to say hi. Hi, April. Happy Friday. Uh, Whip says Baiju or Soju. I don't think. We enjoyed the baiju the one time I remember having it. Baiju is really strong. It is strong. That's it's what super I recall. Strong, yeah. There's been a request for you to stand up so it's easy to peel, but he only has a couple carrots left. Do yeah, you could tell that the countertop is higher. My arm, um, maybe I, um, I need to get a shoulder rub soon. Like who tonight, should, shoulder rub. Who should I call? Privacy. <laughs> <laughs> I give you plenty when you go, when you make those sus phone calls during the live stream. Mm. Uh, Kosh, you know what? It it actually dropped like ten degrees today in weather, right? I didn't go outside. It was really hot yesterday. It was warm today too. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. the forecast lady said it was less, so I don't know. I'm actually gonna stick this in the freezer so it gets colder. Why do you need to peel carrots? Like, is, is the the outer layer of the carrot, like, is it rough? I think so. Is that the reason why? Yeah. All right, Pablo is answering our questions. Sure, I subbed and I found you guys. I was just watching some cooking videos and YouTube recommended me this live stream. Awesome. Ooh. Well, Pablo, since you're new here, we uh, live stream every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And now that you're sub, you have a whole catalog of videos, at least 200, 300 videos that you can watch of us now. So Whoa. we are you uh, super lot, happy you're here. You have a lot of content to watch. Yes. How do you want? How do you want to? You want to cut the potatoes? Sure. Maybe the big ones for sure in quads and the smaller Quarters. in these. Yeah, and then the small ones maybe half. Okay, that works for me. Because I think um, 
because I think potatoes, like the secret, is, not the secret, but the common sense to do is um, is uh, make sure they're all on the same size. Mm. Hold on, let me just. Uh, no, you're fine. Cut the tips off of these. Welcome, Witty, to the live stream. What's up? Happy Friday. Oh, no, I, I missed the carrot. Oh, that's okay. We'll just leave it off to the side. No, I, mean, I have it right. So, Pablo, was there, like, a specific cooking video, like, you were watching, or were you kind of just watching them randomly? So I know sometimes people watch, like, specific things that they're, like, trying to, like, learn the recipe for. stand because I don't feel safe. <laughs> Should we maybe cut maybe Ooh. cut the small ones in quads and the bigger ones like in eight six sex sex sex, sex toplic sex there's a word. I don't know for six. Well sex toplet is like when you have six kids. Oh so se oh. what do you want? Six, right? Six. Yeah, seven. I think six. Top. But that's with kids, not like <laughs> sections. Yeah, like this one, I guess. Okay, so I can I can do another one, huh? Yeah. Let, let, yeah, let's cut the small ones in quads and then the big ones, either six or eight. Even the fact that you're saying quads is funny to me. Oh, it's, it's I would say quarters. Yeah, why am I saying quads? Because you have good quads? I don't know. <laughs> do you? What part? Is, what body part is the quads? Your thighs. Oh, they are. You're right. right. I was thinking gluteus maximus area. You see Emerita's comment? Can you read that one? Yeah. I'm doing so much better. Thank you. I've been missed so much. I miss the interaction on this family community. The love. Here, help me get through. Oh, that's so great. And this is what I love so much. What James and I, we both love so much about our YouTube family is that we really are here for each other. And if someone is down, there's always 10 more people to help you get back up, you mm -hmm. know? So it's a huge community of support. Um, and I'm Marita, happy to hear that you're doing better. Sorry, I'll scroll down. What's up, Bowman? Hello, Hello Bowman. Man. On, over on our Twitch land. I ended up doing eights. That's it fine. worked out though. That's fine. All right, what are we doing these potatoes after? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be a little bit more like, you know? I think um, we're gonna oven roast them in our sheet pan. But James, you don't need to wash your hands because it's okay. I'll do this. I'll do I this. Well, because like we, I now I'm gonna have starch on my hands because okay, it's fine though. Oh, we're we're cooking the carrots and the potatoes at the same time. That might as well, a smart right? Smart idea. Might as well. Do you have the olive oil? I do. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Here, salt and pepper and olive oil. Did you want to add garlic? Yes. Okay. And then we preheat the oven, actually. Well, that's a good idea. Was I supposed to olive oil before I salted? <laughs> yeah. I knew something was out of order. Let's go back to the oil, then. Healthy drizzle of oil. Oh, yeah. Maybe 
maybe the garlic just on the potatoes or do you want on the carrot too? Just on the potatoes. Okay. Just give them a little delineation. I heard that these are really sweet. Oh. So I want to kind of keep that essence, you know? Sweet. Put some honey on it? Or is that going to make it too sweet? Um, I think I want to try it without the honey so that we can really appreciate the natural sweetness from it, okay. if you don't mind. Gosh, we love pepper. What's the smell of pepper? I'm happy to mix it if you need, or yeah, I'm just gonna give you the pepper. Is that good? I think that's a lot of pepper. Um, welcome, welcome. We've had the brown sugar boba ice cream, yes, a handful of times. And Island Candies is here. Hi, Island Candies. I wonder if there's like an herb we should put on the this one. I think at the end we could oh, right, with, uh, dried parsley. Okay. I just want to do that now. Oh, now we have garlic on this one. I was going to give you a new one. That's okay. okay. Just close it up. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, we. I feel like this is like a school dance. <laughs> all the potatoes on one side, all of the red carrots on the other. And you were probably in the middle. I'm sure of it. Well, sp spread out the um, potato a little bit more since we have extra real estate. These are the same trays you guys saw on Wednesday's upload, by the way, where we ate. What did we eat on Wednesday? Let's see who's the super fan. And like, we don't really use a lot of, we don't really bake a lot. So, so like, we're really utilizing our baking. Yeah, food. I feel like we got our bang out of a buck for this one. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, it looks beautiful. There you go. Okay. Uh, Island Candies, we do not have any Easter brunch plans, no. And look at y'all coming through. I see so many fish tacos in the chat. Thank you so much for supporting that video. Best in OC. Yes, Averill. Getting more specific. I like it. That video was actually really fun for me to edit. And it's when I learned a new trick about editing that made the process so much better. Now I know how to um, edit on two times speed because back in the day, I would literally watch the entire video over and over again. And now that I can speed it up, I know what parts to cut out faster. So it's made things a lot easier. Super exciting. So if you just joined, we are making tomahawk steaks with roasted vegetables. Mark has already made a chimichurri sauce. It's right over there, if you could see that. And we still got two cards left to go. What's the next thing we're doing? Are we taking a break or do we have to go straight to the uh, tomatoes? We can take a small break and then I'll do the tomatoes. Okay, so since we're taking a small break, I'm gonna do the next card. Yeah. All right, so if someone can type this up in the chat, and again, we'd love for you to participate as well. Uh, whose opinion weighs more to you when deciding who you want to be in a long-term relationship with, your parents or your friends? Interesting question, actually. Wow. All right, let, let me read hard. it again. Whose opinion weighs more to you when deciding who you want to be in a long-term relationship with, your parents or your friends? Um, so someone can chat, type that up in the chat. Would love to hear that. Your responses to it. We're going to answer it in a moment. Hmm. I need Tony a asks, is it hard to find a new recipe to do every week? Yes. We just decided this last night. We're like, what should we do? How did you even come up with tomahawk stick? And then like, tomahawk stick? I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, I see a lot of neither in the chat, which is great. But However, you, I you want you to, to choose. Because that wasn't a choice. Choose, yeah. That wasn't a choice. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's do another. Let's shot. just do another shot. Get it. Yeah, then the card will be done. Good job today. I feel like we have a good rhythm. It's seven eleven. I think we're gonna eat by eight. Is that ambitious? No, I think so too. Oh, the steak is already at ninety three degrees. Oh, only five away from ninety eight. Oh, we're almost there. Once it hits ninety eight degrees, we need to sing one of their songs. <laughs> okay, but don't don't say what song you're gonna sing. We just sing it. 
and and then we just go off of it. I'd just be surprised if you know a ninety-eight degree song. To be honest, I can don't say anything. Is aren't they a one-hit wonder? No, they have like five good songs. No, Bowman says ninety-three degrees hype. Yes. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna cook this in the oven until it gets to one twenty-five, and then we're gonna sear it, and then we're going to let it rest, and then we're going to plate it. All right, let's uh. Okay, so Elda has the question up on the screen. So if you guys want to answer it, let us know what you think. So whose opinion will weigh heavier, your parents or friends? Mm. Now, okay, I totally get why everyone said neither because I'm in that school of thought. N neither parents or friends influence my decision to be in a long-term relationship with Mark. However, if I had to choose either group, I would likely say parents for me <gasps> i thought you were going to say friends i was going to say i i was i was like i might have to choose parents too yeah but what's your reasoning since uh like so much pressure that i think the parent would like vocalize more <laughs> than <laughs> yeah i drank soju so now i can say chincha, okay <laughs> like can they like too much pressure I, I don't want the pressure from the parents friends could say whatever they want but i'm like well, you live your life but this is like blood telling me how to live my life, I'm gonna to listen to blood before I'm gonna to listen to my friends. Mm. So that, in my mind, it was kind of easy to decide because I just, I feel like, not that my friend's opinion doesn't matter, but if my parents said, you cannot see this person, and a friend said, you cannot see this person, I would feel more phased by the parents saying that to me than a friend. Interesting. Right? Oh. Like, maybe because I'm conditioned, my parents have told me what to do for a good chunk of my life, so I'm gonna to listen to them more than like some random friend, mm. right? Oh, so, you? so you went there. I wasn't even oh, I mean, thinking yeah. about like, because like if my parents said, no, I don't approve. I don't, I'm not, I don't approve this of uh, this relationship. You can't, then I'm going to be like, I don't, I'm not going to listen to you. Friends, you know? So, mm. so that's when someone like is forcing you not to see anyone, but out of, out of the two of whose opinion, oh, yeah, more, opinion, opinion. Uh, which I mean, mine was extreme opinion, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Force. But I, will, I was going to say parents too, because I want to say that they have a lot more life experience and they have their own relationship that they could compare it to and be like, see, that's why I told you not to marry someone like your dad. You know, like, like they have yeah. this experience and they, they might have some more foresight in, in predicting what the relationship could look like, you know? Versus a friend where you're thinking like... Friend only is limited to what they know. Unless it's a much older friend, but yeah. usually they're the same age as you. And I want to say a lot of times, like in movies or dramas where the relationship doesn't work out, it's always that mom that says, see, I told you so. Like, yeah. like that's a common thing, you know? Yeah. So I, that's why I think maybe the parents' opinions might weigh a little bit more than a friend's opinion. But let's take two steps back. In that same drama, that Korean mom plotted your lover's death. <laughs> Is that, that always yeah. happens and then she's like she feels guilty but then she ultimately gets caught it's, it's the same it's a, it's a very similar story line. yeah all right let's let's real briefly just see what people had said thank you so much for all participating oh we got a super oh, chat. We got a super chat i was like wait why i was like that's not wait let's do the super chat first okay. straight cat thank you so much for the oh ten dollar super sticker okay Ready? Ready? Okay. Stray Cat, Stray Cat, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. And uh, let us know, Stray Cat, if you want us to do another convo and chill card or make us play the drinking game where there's a potential for us to drink, drink, yeah. drink more. Uh, Island Candy says, I think my friend's opinion is important, but in the end, parents see something based on experience and love use. Oh, I love for you. Yeah. 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 They have that. Yeah. They have that lens, I guess. Yeah. Family got your best interest. If mm. I had to pick my parents, uh, Midas says, before I was out to my parents, my mom said to me, make sure you don't do like your brother and marry a woman who is not Chinese. My thought, no problem. I'll marry a man who is not Chinese. Oh, interesting. But what if it's opposite? Because the gender like is opposite. Yeah. Oh, what if he had to get married Chinese? But Wendy says neither. But if I didn't have a choice, then it would be my mom. She's super strict and slightly crazy, but she also has good instincts. Yeah. There See, we go. Parents, you know, they have experience. Yeah. Uh, Avril says, 
My parents are both in spirit world, but trust my mom gave her opinion. And in the end, it was right. Mm. The opinion that weighs the most is my daughter's. Oh. oh. That's not, she, she added another layer to the card. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that would be very important, yeah. I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bowman over on Twitch says, yeah, neither for me too. And parents, if I had to choose. Yeah. So it seems like that. Every, that's like I, everyone's I, universal I answer here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care about parents or friends' opinions. But yeah, if I had to yeah. choose, exactly. Eddie says, James's random Korean kills me with so much joy. Haha, <laughs> well, way. Let's go to Weho. Weho? Oh, Weho. <laughs> we? Weho, Weho. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Uh, Pablo says, to be honest, I would go both. Before, think about and mm. your friends will be there for you, but at any point of time, something could happen like a dumb fight. Yeah. Mm. Very, very interesting. I love, love, love hearing all the insight. Julie says, I'm not close to my family. My friends are my family, and they know the real me and what would make me happy. Well, there you go. I was also going to say for some people, like, their family are their friends. Yeah, and we're getting to more of those comments. Ray says, friends, Relationships are different now. I don't think parents would understand the rules we set down. Relationships are different back then. That is true, too. Like yeah. The whole scene is different now. Yeah, it's different, but it's also the same, you know? <laughs> because, like... Everything's in a cycle. Because, you know... And here's a, here's a shocker. Like, our parents were kids, too, you know? And there were in relationships and you know exploring and doing their things you know it's just like we only know our parents after they became parents mm, that's true so we only know a small snippet of their lives you, know? you had something very insightful to say one time about that but i forget and i'm like thinking is this even a story to share but i don't remember who it was about but i just remember your takeaway was it that the parents were once young before young and didn't have kids before at one point in time so you should allow them to live that life even after they have kids something like that do you remember what i'm talking about yeah it was uh, a very deep conversation i forgot well i know that um one of my friends said like oh you know i i never really liked my mom because um she like le like left my dad or something like, like mm. something about like marital problems and i said like you could be unhappy but then there's a whole life to your mom that you don't know so for you to just hate your mom, um, like you're entitled to that feeling, but just also real understand that there's probably it's a little bit more complex than from what you see as just oh mom just left dad, but yeah, but there could be so many other reasons, a lot of layers, and a lot of layers, and you know, and her life before that marriage that might have some play into this. So we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. So it's better not to hate. Oh, that's that's always you need to wear your. I feel like we should just make that our merch. Just wear the blue sweater, everyone. It's be kind. I feel like everyone needs to hear that all the time. Speaking of kindness, Kara Jade is here. Well, hello, handsome. TJ and I are both here. We're late, but tuning in while cooking dinner. What are you oh, guys cooking for dinner? Yeah, we're start. cooking too. We are nowhere near eating at this point, so we we're, we're having deep conversations. We missed ninety eight degrees. Okay, ready? We're at one hundred right now. All right, so we're gonna sing a random ninety eight degrees song. Just the 10 seconds of it. Ready? You go first. I'll, I'll follow your lead because I can't think of one right now. You don't know any. No, I mean, if they're if a one-hit wonder, you should at least know one. If I hear, if I hear the song, I'll be like, oh, yeah, okay, I get it. But I can't just think of one right now. Okay. You're my sunshine after the rain. You're 98 degrees. You're the cure against me feeling my pain. Cause I'm losing my mind when you're not around. It's all, it's all, it's all because of you. Mm. Uh, one more quick one, cause Eddie did mention his favorite. Give me just one night, una noche. Oh, that, oh my God, I totally forgot about that But song. you know that song, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Bitch, what's all? <laughs> They're trying to be multicultural at that, at that yeah. point. And let's all welcome John to the live stream. Hi, guys. My name is John. I'm new subscriber. You guys are great. Awesome, awesome. John. Thanks for being here. Please answer these three questions in the chat for us. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? And everyone, please welcome John. It's amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a newest family member of ours. We're just talking about family. Yeah. Um, we are family. Now I'm just going to pull up the um, this thing for a minute. Wait, so that thing went off. What are we supposed to do now? I, I felt like I heard a buzz. Was I just imagining it? No, that was just the oven. 
that, that it reached the temperature. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was concerned. I was like, something's supposed to happen. So, I mean, this is technically a side, but it's also going to be garnish because oh, it's this pretty vibrant red color, you know? Yeah. What kind of tomatoes are those considered? These are tomatoes on the vine. Cocktail Ooh. tomatoes. So. Kara Jade and TJ are making Chamorro Estufao. Wow. Don't know if I'm familiar with that. Let me get a little bathing of olive oil here. And let us know where we are with the light bulb. Mark is adding some sugar to just this. Bring out the natural sweetness, you know? Not a lot, but just some. And John is sharing the answers to the questions. I'm from Brooklyn. Favorite food is pasta, and I found you through my future mother-in-law, Evelyn R., who's also watching. Awesome! Well, we know Evelyn. Oh, oh my gosh. That's, that's Welcome. so cool. Welcome. That's awesome. You're gonna be a good son in law. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, Tony, we use something called Fresh to Farm, I think is what it's called. Reagan says, James and Mark, did you, your parents teach you how to cook or did you just learn on your own? More so on my own. My on mom own. didn't want me to be anywhere near the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. And then for me, Probably mostly on my own, but then if I'm doing a Vietnamese dish, I always call her. I like to involve her in the process. So we could share in if it comes out well. So Mark is adding a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I need to take a picture of this one. Are you doing something with that too or no? Sure. Oh, you are? So I'll wait until after. Where's my scissors? I thought I brought it. Scissors? Oh, Those? Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Joe says, reverse sear is my favorite way to cook a steak. You really can't mess it up if you take a temp. Awesome. Well, there you go. We have the thermometer. It's 104. Wow, it's, it's really going up. It smells so good in here. <laughs> Big Daddy is in reference to TJ, I believe. Inside joke, if you wanna know, sign up to the Discord. And what we discussed there stays in Discord, so don't worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, y'all. Evelyn R was on the right track. She did a referral referral situation. We can get to 200 viewers on this stream. I believe we can do it. So if everyone, if only 30% of you, no. Yeah, 33% of you share this video with one other person, we'll have 200 people on the stream. And Hunter Harding says, hi, welcome to the hey. live stream. And Vanessa's also here. I'm late, but I made it. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. You're all good. We have not eaten yet. We've just had a, a bottle of soju. That's really all we've done so far and kind of cooked. We usually do appetizer, but not today. We decided to just cook, like prep all our sides yeah. and stuff. Oh, so does it help to do a little slit in it? Yeah, that's because, what Mark's doing right now. Because it's going to burst when you roast them in the oven. If oh. you don't. Joe says, my BF calls me daddy, but that's not for the public. Yeah, I call Mark daddy and he calls me daddy, but it's not that kind of daddy it's because we have hedu so we call each other daddy yeah okay hope robinson is in the live stream welcome welcome and tanak corn says hello welcome as well thank you all for being here if you have not yet liked this video like this video also subscribe we film mukbangs every monday and friday 6 p.m pacific time so we're in the midst of cooking this. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of these beautiful tomatoes that Mark just prepared. Tomatoes on the vine. 
Okay, we sprinkle oil, some yeah, yeah. balsamic, olive oil, a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, some thyme. And <laughs> it's like, it, I, no, I it reminded me of the roller ring thing. Yeah, that's funny. Lizlov, welcome to the live stream. What about Zaddy? I never call Mark Zaddy, nor does he ever call me that. <laughs> There's nothing Zaddy about either of us, really. Just our age. <laughs> not even that. We're not in Zaddy category yet. Yeah. John says, don't burn them, bro. No, we're good. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Since both of our ovens are occupied, let's use the air fryer for this. Oh, okay. Perfect. Just let me take a picture before you like move it off to the camera. Okay. Oh, it's always oh, good. The But Kath is asking, what's your nationality? I always get confused. When someone asks your nationality, does that relate to where you were born or like where you were from? I think nationality is your citizenship. Then, then American. Yes. Yes. But if you're asking ethnicity, ethnicity, then Korean. Passman says, hi, welcome to the live stream. Happy Friday. Why known as happy day? Yes. Liz Lop says this is my favorite cooking show. I've learned so much. That's oh so nice. God, yes. Thank you so that much. That a lot to us. The word favorite is so strong. You know, it does. It's such, yeah. a, it's such a meaningful, heavy word. So when someone says favorite, my heart flutters yeah. like a butterfly. Now, how would you feel if you went to another chat and then the same person said that they're their favorite person? I'm going to expose you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Nora says, I call my husband daddy. He hates it. That's the only reason I do it. Shout him out, please. Todd. Hey, Todd. You know, you can't spell Todd without daddy. <laughs> His nickname could be Todd Daddy. Does that not sound cute? Either case, thanks for being here. Joshua, hello, hello. Body in the city and the heat is on. Na, 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 that's not Miami. Welcome to Miami. Oh, oh, yeah, you're. In, are you back yet? I, no, he's back. Are I saw back? his Instagram stories. Like mm -hmm. back to the, the heat back to the all. grind. Mm -hmm. Mike says those tomatoes look good. Didn't they look real good? I'm like ready to eat those. Uh, Sean is here. He says James, your shirt is so iconic. Oh, you know? James was waiting until you were on to to give you a proper thank you. To give for you it. a proper thank you. Thank you for buying me this nicely fitted shirt. Not being sarcastic, by the way, it actually fits me really nicely. Okay, so we also want to um, choose our wine. So uh, I don't. We mentioned this before, but we are part of a NPR wine club. Mm. We are a member of the NPR wine club, and they have recommendations. Each shipment, it comes with like the wine cards, so it tells you a little bit more about the wine, the region where it's from, and then also a recommendation with food pairings. Mm. So guess what? And we didn't plan this, but guess what? There's actually a wine that we got. Where the food pairing recommendation was skirt. Well, we're not eating skirt steak, right? This skirt steak with chimichurri sauce. Oh, okay. Right? So Ooh. we are going to Argentina. choose the Alma, what is this? Alma Andina Malbec from Argentina. Mm. Right here. Um, we also were forced to um, steal. You say force, I said gladly accepted. We were forced to steal one of my brother's wine cooler, fridge, wine fridge. We helped him, I mean, we barely helped, but we helped him like unpack because they just bought a new house. And um, and this is something that I knew that he had from their previous place. He mm. has like four wine coolers. So I just made a joke and I said, dang, like just give us one already. And his wife, Jen, is like, Take it, take it, take it. And then I could tell my brother was kind of hesitant mm. in, at first. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then, um, but then they still like gave it to us. So we have a wine fridge now. Yeah. 
we'll show you guys in a future like video, probably in one of the date nights if we ever do one. Uh, Kath, we met in college a long, long, long time ago. So here's our wine. Mm. Alma and Dina. Sounds like an apartment community. Uh, Lislop, feel free to message us on Instagram. James and Mark, I need recommendations for Vegas Eats. I'll be there in June celebrating my 10-year anniversary with my boyfriend. Maybe he will pop the question. Oh. <laughs> when did we get engaged? What anniversary was that? 2017, because we got married the following. No. No, 2016. 2016 December. So is that our 10-year? Because we met in 2006. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, yeah. Those are 10 year but almost our 11th oh almost our, but still yeah. 10 yeah oh either case yeah hit us up we can we can gladly share oh, we recommendations love vegas. also if you're in the chat and you're like a vegas local or you love vegas drop drop some uh, comments or suggestions for liz to see as well everyone is doing well hi dan welcome to the live stream what's a zaddy i don't even know where to begin to explain that Mark says, you guys are so adorable. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the tomahawk steak is in the oven, but we will make sure you will see it in a moment. And we got another super chat. I've been watching your catalog of content and I Ooh. love the positive energy. Yay. I love how you said catalog of content because I literally just made that up today. Catalog I've never said, I've never called our channel a catalog. Like now you can see the catalog. By the way, in the few moments, between when we acknowledge to subscribe and not, we got four more subscribers. So y'all doing something right and we're loving it. Thank you for giving us this positive energy. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Are we saying the first? I'm just gonna do the first. Okay. Yeah, ready? Lee, Lee, thank you. We appreciate you. Sarangayo. Uh, you got to choose oh, yeah. whether or not um, you want to do the chill and combo card or a drinking game? Yeah, let us know. Uh, what do you both do for a living? We are both in nonprofit slash part-time models. <laughs> okay, one of that's live. We're actually both in nonprofit. Yeah. Uh, yes, it says, hi, my name is Yesit. I am the husband of Evelyn R, other daughter. I got married last week. New subscribe. Oh my Whoa. God, the whole family is here. You know what? I, I think this warrants like a drink for that family okay. because we want also, we also want to celebrate the recent wedding nuptials. Yes. So we're going to go get another soju because I think that one's pretty Oh, much. are we done with that soju? Pretty much empty. Congratulations to the whole it? family, by the way. Yeah, Evelyn was telling us that um, yeah, the wedding, the wedding was nice, but then hopefully next year is going to be a bigger celebration. Yes. Right? Oh, perfect. perfect. For two shots. Oh, and we just got rated over on Twitch. Thank you so much, Six Wolfpack, for rating. Oh, my gosh. We really appreciate it. We also have JCA David also here. Thank you so much for being here. We love our Twitch family. Yes. You all are small but mighty for sure. Absolutely. And, yeah. and real quick, Emery to ask, can somebody fill me in on why the crowns? So we wear the crowns. We were gifted these. Uh, a few weeks ago, and we just have decided every time we get a super chat, we can just wear these for fun. They and cool, they huh? just make us feel happy. They're, they're so pretty. We um, actually did a giveaway. Yes. Ray and, was the one that won the giveaway. And I felt like the spirits above knew that he was probably going to appreciate it the most, so he won that giveaway. Yeah. And that was really funny how that happened, huh? Oh, Ray, we like that fish and chips place in Vegas. That yeah. place is good. But the line's long. <laughs> you Cheers. remember the line. <laughs> well, when we went, it was relatively no, new. Yeah, so the was line okay. wasn't long, yeah. but we tried to go like a year after. And that's when everyone's like, oh, fish and chips, fish and yeah, chips. Yeah, so yeah. the line was super long. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Uh, Mo, maybe this is working. Like, just throw it back. Don't let it sit. Yeah. That helped. That's what I do. I was late to the party. I don't know why I've been doing do. that. Whew. Mark is located in Columbus. I'm assuming Ohio, because that's the only place where I know where there's a Columbus. Columbus, Columbus could be like 
It's one of those names that could be in a lot of states. A lot of states, yeah. We are in Southern California. So yeah. if you are in Ohio, um, unfortunately, <gasps> the Drew Carey show, was that Columbus? I'm trying to think what's Columbus known for. No, Drew Carey was the Cincinnati. Oh, no, I don't know. They were somewhere over there. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Flybendy is currently on a car trip, so a bit on and off. Hopefully, I won't miss anything important. No worries. Oh, drive safe. What though. number? 113? 113. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now, yeah. okay, you're going to see how pathetic we are in a few minutes when we're about to see our, our tomahawk steak. We don't own a flat grill pan. Mm -mm, we're gonna... So, but then if we use a frying pan, then... The, it's not it has a rim so we're afraid that the bone part is going to like stick out and not sear the meat so we're gonna try and use our Korean barbecue pan even though it's concave up a little bit we're yeah gonna, we're gonna do our best I'm sure it'll turn out fine we'll make it so work. if we'll not then I don't know do we have a plan B or gonna wait until it doesn't work and then we think of a plan B I don't know I don't know. We don't shall know. see. We shall see. Diana, I started watching you guys when you went to the restaurant that Kim Tai love. I enjoy watching her. And now you guys. Oh, awesome. Thank you Diana, so much. welcome. You know, we've only, that video's only been out for two weeks. So then you're relatively new to our oh, channel. Thank Thanks you for, for subscribing. Checking us out. And we love Kim. And we love Kim. Yes. Love Kim. Yeah, we had, we were very fortunate and blessed to be able to hang out with Kim and Carlos before COVID mm. and just have dinner. And they were the most genuine and fun people. Um, and we were supposed to hang out again, but COVID happened. So, so it's been like 14 months. <laughs> so we're <laughs> we're gonna wait until everything gets situated again, and maybe yeah. we'll see them again. Yeah. Oh, so apparently Drew Carey show is in Cleveland. Cleveland. And that's Ohio. Oh, that so you're in the Ohio. right oh, state. See? Yeah. Oh, don't they sing like Cleveland? Or they like oh, in the they theme have, song? They have some kind of chant. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, six Wolfpack says, I'm sure it'll turn out amazing. You know what? Thank you for the vote and confidence. Oh, we, we will not try not part? to disappoint you. Yeah. Um, you know what? Straight cat, I don't remember if they ever said if they wanted the, which card. Oh, I want to know. Right. And then didn't we get one from Lee? Yes. Lee, mm -hmm. you, you need to let us know if we should do a, a drinking game or the chill and convo. Keep us accountable. Donna, thank you and thank you and Barbie for watching. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. We're still gonna eat dinner. We have not eaten dinner yet. I hope you guys know the drill. We usually don't eat dinner until like closer to eight o'clock because there's a lot of cooking involved. Monday Monday stream was amazing. Do you guys remember what was Monday stream? If you guys remember, drop it in the chat so we know. I haven't even done the siren today, so does that mean I need to drink more? There's been no siren yet. Beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful they are! No, yeah, they're roasted tomatoes. So we're, yes, so we'll put this off to the side. Everything's gonna probably done, be done cooking soon. This is not hot because you just use as a yeah. Okay. I, I think we're timing our food really well. The tomatoes done. This could be on the side. Yeah, this is great. Uh, Lee voted drinking game. All right, we will okay. acknowledge the drinking game in a moment. I feel bad because we uh, had a very bad track record of losing the drinking game, but the first time that we won, it was with Ray's super chat. <laughs> so, <laughs> he probably really wanted us to drink too. Yeah. And if you like the video, we have to drink. How many oh, likes yeah. are we at? I don't know how many likes we're yeah, at. Last I checked, we're at? we were like 103, so it's it's been a hot minute. Maybe we're getting closer and closer to it um angel welcome to the live stream thank you for being here oh i love that thing oh, oh we just went up two more subscribers guys i know i didn't share my screen but that means we've been up at least 10 already mm. just being on live thank you guys so much so here are the cards that we're going to play for lee sure guys says i just finished dinner Oh my God, James, thank you so much for the live, oh, oh, the super chat. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, okay, which name are we, are we saying James or his screen name? Let's, let's say James. Okay. Right. Ready? 
James, James, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And James, because you super chatted us, you can either make us play a drinking game or we have to do a convo and chill card, which is a very deep philosophical question that we need to answer on the show. <laughs> I got to sell it up, you know? Yeah, yeah. So choose either or. Thank you so much for the super chat. Now we're going to play the game okay. for Lee. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Eight. Ooh. Oh, that's a hard one. Mm. Okay, on count three, we both say what okay. we want to do. One, two, three. Lower. Five. Okay, so now we rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins, that's what we go with. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Wait. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. So you win, so we have to go low? Lower. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so, oh, the card just stays there. I think I need to put another soju in the freezer. No. Okay, okay, okay. This one's not enough. Uh, Ding, getting my Surface Pro all wet. Whatever. Get a new laptop. Do we have enough soju? Oh. oh I, we... put, I put two in the fridge, so I knew we had plenty. Oh, we That's have. Right. <laughs> oh, no. This, yes. all, this all worked out. Had we not lost, I wouldn't have done. Yeah, so this is perfect. This is all meant to be. All meant to be. All meant to be. We still have our wine. Should we drink wine too? Yes. Because dinner's about to start. Yes. Okay, open this. Okay. <laughs> Chacho says, what an adorable cheer. That calls for a shot. You know, that's not how it works. <laughs> But if you really do want us to take a shot, yeah, you drop us five dollar super chat, and then we or have like to play a game. or like, or like the video. video, yeah, liking the video is a free way to do it. And Elda, yes, they are on vacation. I hear Vegas food just all around is amazing. They're, they're yeah, they have they some have good really, spots out there, yeah, and really famous chefs out there too. Now, I hope you guys stick around, all 150 of you. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. The steak has not come out yet, so please, please, please stick around for the steak at least. And then get, get on with your Friday nights, hopefully with us. Because we ain't doing anything tonight. We're at 151 likes. Right, I'm going to add a card to the pile then. The wine smells good. Doesn't let me smell it. <gasps> Lotus of Siam, Bear the Bear, you know what's up. Lotus of Siam is good. <laughs> mm. This is gonna be good with the steak. <gasps> what? How many degrees? Oh, we're almost there. Steak's almost done. It's one seventeen right now. We're gonna try and get up to one twenty-five. Yes. Mark says you need a third wheel there for some real fun, which is interesting because I feel like that's what you would say too. <laughs> Are you referencing our video where we were talking about the cup? third cup oh maybe and you know what mark i think your name is so cool i love your name oh alexa turn off james says i will always choose drinking games so you're that kind of girl you're that kind of girl i i always knew that's about you i ain't mad about it though i love sprite ginger barbs is over sticking around awesome Oh, and they're drinking with us. What are you guys drinking? Yeah, if you guys are drinking, let us know in the chat what's going on. Joe says, girl, take it out at 120 so you can see it's super hot. What's the cooking notes for the tomatoes? We just put it in the air fryer, right? For like seven minutes? Keep Bunny, welcome to the live stream. So good to see you. My husband and I are having steak and wine right now. Amazing. Earlier on the stream, we asked how you like your steak cook and what kind of cut of steak did you get? You, you got to stick around for the actual tomahawk steak to come out. It will blow your mind. I think it's like three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds of meat, y'all. Barb is having Malibu and Coke. Donna is having rum and cream soda. Won't the tomatoes explode? Well, Mark did these little slits in them 
to prevent that from happening. Regan is having Diet Dr. Pepper on the rocks. Yes, skinny legend. Love it. <laughs> Who's having that? Regan. Oh my gosh. Joe says we have amazing Korean fried chicken around here. I can move these, sorry. You got it? Well. Dave, yes, that is some big meat. Do we need this still? Or take it? Yeah, because we, we need to cut the steak. Oh, okay. So we'll just uh, okay. we'll just leave it. There. I I remember to pa uh, saran wrap our uh, laptop this today, so it doesn't get cray cray. So you guys have seen this before. We've used it in our previous videos. We're doing a reverse sear today. Mark has been um, cooking the tomahawk steak in the oven probably for the last forty five minutes, if not a little bit longer. So yeah, it's sitting in there. I don't know how long it's been, huh? I don't. Yeah, I don't know myself. Um, Tara's having Sprite, vodka and Diet Coke with ice, another skinny legend. Mark's having a Moscow Mule. I had a Moscow Mule double yesterday. Hi, Rose. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so keep bunny. We got our steak from Costco, ribeye, I think, and drinking natural red wine, La Tribu. Yeah. Love T-Bone, New York steak on one side, filet on the other, Stray Cat says. Awesome. Oh, happy belated birthday, Rose. It was my birthday, March 28th. Oh, awesome. Hope you we celebrated love March well. birthdays. Got coffee and water. Eddie says, I've never had a drink. What are you, a, a rock? Logical... You never had a water? Are you, are you a rock? What else? <laughs> What else doesn't need water or drink? Dirt? <laughs> yeah, that's a, you're you're making the situation worse. It's funny though. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mary Ann's having a cold beer. Amazing, and Rose had a great birthday. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna t keep this on so it stays hot. Yeah. So don't touch it. it. Oh yeah, yeah, don't touch me. Don't touch you. Uh, can I do our next shots then? Yeah. Get that out of the way, Z's. We got, we owe you guys two. Okay, I'm not gonna cheat, but I have to grab the other one because it's not a full glass. Uh, let's say hi to Trinity. Trinity, welcome to the live stream with your mom. Hi, Trinity. Happy Friday. Yes. And Larissa, Larissa says, hello guys, how much did you pay for the tomahawk steak? We only have cowboy steaks here in Memphis, Tennessee. Our tomahawk steak was little, it was six, around $60. Yeah. What's the difference between cowboy and tomahawk? Yeah. Actually don't know. Yeah. So here's a problem. Because it's a Korean barbecue grill, the oil is, uh, falling, falling oh, out. Should we plugging it when it do anything? So maybe, ooh, it's gonna. Is this gonna be one of those like? But it's still staying somewhat here. And you know, I might have to just put the oil on the steak and then yeah, bring it on. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Again, it's because we don't own right now a flat top grill. So we're, we're going to try and use our Korean barbecue grill to sear the steak. Yeah. Okay, so cheers. Cheers, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, this chummy's getting like sweeter and sweeter. That like, one's whoa. colder, that's why. Wait, so Julie says we owe one for, did we not play for James yet? We didn't. We didn't? Okay, so let's play that real quick. Well, we're, and we're almost there. We're at 120 degrees, five yeah. more degrees. And I don't know how many shots we've been at. At least five each. Yeah, at least five to six each. Okay, ready? Yeah. This is for James. Ten. Ready? Yeah. Low. Low. Nine. Oh, there was, we barely got that I'm going to keep going. Low. 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 Oh my gosh, we lost. So we need to do another shot. Ah, I don't want to do another one. I don't. 
I, I want to get it done now so I can okay, okay, enjoy okay, my let's, food. Let's get let's get her done. Let's get loud. Too late, girl. Okay, this one I might need a little like sprite. Do I chase it with oil? Yeah, no. I, mean, I drank so much soju the other day. I don't want to so much. Sock? Oh, oh, we just <laughs> <sock> <laughs> it. Oh my god, that was that was a fun night though. Oh, Joe, thank you. Uh, Joe says Mark looks cute with longer hair. So I, maybe um, about a month ago, um, I still get my hair cut, but my, me and my hair stylist, we were just talking out loud and said, maybe like just grow out the top part and then um, see what happens. Yeah. So I still, you know, get my hair cut on the sides and stuff, but we're, I'm trying to slowly grow it out. I'm just gonna highlight this comment real quick. We don't have to belabor it. Bite okay. me says, this is what an insane, evil ridden, a moral Supreme Court has done to our country. Check yourself. Bye. Did I read that right? I'm thinking about us. I know, but can did I not read we, that right? Can we boot you out? Oh, I'm sure the mods have handled it. We could still see stuff on our end. I'm I'm at that point in my life right now where I'm not gonna just sit by and let people just talk to me in that disrespectful manner, nor you. So I'm not gonna get crazy. I'm just gonna call you out and just say, listen to how you talk to other human beings. You should be disgraced for that. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's, in the, the meantime. Su the Supreme Court might have to do something about you. Okay, well now you're like getting crazy. But it's okay, no, speak your mind. Yeah. That's what I'm speak saying. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. We're heart all heart about heart. love here. And if that's not part of what you wanna do, find another channel, that's okay. We ain't gonna get mad about that. Uh, we got Laura B in the house saying hello Ooh. with three hearts because the world needs more love. We don't got enough of it. That's why everything's hit the fan. <laughs> and Regan, thank you so much for the $5 super chat oh. convo and chill. Of course. She knows what's up with the super. We do that. She already knows what to uh, choose, you know? Yes. Kay. Ready? Regan, Regan, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh man, this is perfect. Emerita says, I do miss that scream. Thank you. I feel at home now. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing anyone said to me today. Thank you so much. <gasps> 121. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost, we're almost there. there. Yeah. Okay. So we're just chilling. No, we just see, you know, every now and then we get little troll comments here and there. And I know our mods are doing a fantastic job of handling those situations. But every now and then I read one and I'm like, okay, I don't want this person to just live life thinking they could just say whatever and like not have any repercussions of it. This is how we ended up in this in this position to begin with, okay? I love you guys. Heart, yes girl, yes. Thank you so much. Laura says, love that Issei shirt. Laura, do you want one? <laughs> John says, my boss is texting me at this hour about things they are mad about. Should this get me anxious, yes or no? Ooh. That sounds like a convo and chill question. If you are an hourly employee, leave work at work. Mm. Leave work at work. Just enjoy your personal time, um, and then deal with it when you when your next schedule to go back in. Bear the Bear says, "Were you guys both out when you met?" No, no, we weren't, because we got crazies out there making us feel like we can't be who we are. Okay, I, I said I was gonna stop, but I can't. But I love how as time progresses, I feel like it's getting like more accepted, more accepted. So I love that, you know. At the same time, I'm like, I wish I was growing up at this like time. There's period. that feeling. Yeah. But it just it just saddens me that someone could come on. We're literally just sitting here having drinks and cooking, not doing anything debaucherous like they are making us out to be. Yeah. And still have like something to say. I know. I don't get it. Toya Johnson says, I love the crowns. Yes, let us wear our crowns and let us be us. We love you. Thank you so much. Noah's World says, hi, welcome, welcome. And there you go. <laughs> and there we go. We still have one card left. Oh my gosh. I, I think the beef is done. Oh my gosh. I'm confused. Did we win for James's game or lose? We lost. So did I add a card? I don't remember. Ooh, we're just gonna we're gonna do with this. Alexa off. 
<laughs> Low Bro says Mark and James should both get perms. Oh, that'd be interesting. And Mark, we have a previous live stream that you could watch around the election time, and I think that will answer your question. Yes, good vibes only. Leave the politics at the door. Yes, just leave it at the door. This is not what we came on here to do. We came on here to cook food with y'all, to have our drinks, to share what we like mutually and leave it at that. That's what we try to promote around here. Now, whether we do a good job of it or not, that's a different question. But we came on, you clicked on this video because you saw us holding this big tomahawk steak. That's what we're going to do. Y'all do you. Yes, Marianne. Thank you. Ray says they are the same cut of steak. A cowboy steak has a short French bone, the tomahawk, a long French bone. Oh, Got it. Yes, and thank you for the reminder for the convo and chill. I will grab a new card to put in the pile. We might not get to it right away, but it'll be in the pile. So thank you for reminding me. You know, so, you know, as I drink, you know, I get forgetful. Okay, there we go. Chris says, leave your shoes at the door as well. We wore shoes in our house one time to film a TikTok, and I felt bad about it afterwards. That's just us, though. Well, mine was a new pair of shoes. Okay, so now you just throwing me under the bus? You had a couple shots of soju, and now you just speak freely. Hmm? That's one of those ones where you keep those thoughts private. Remember that question earlier? That's something you keep in private. Ooh, we gonna fight tonight. We gonna fight tonight? Uh oh. Toya, I'm gonna leave this to the chat. I mean, we can offer our thoughts and opinions, but should I forgive my ex best friend for sleeping with my baby daddy? That that sounds like that could be a convo and chill question too. I want to I want to leave that to the chat. I'm gonna phone a friend, y'all. You guys jump in. You do a great job at it. Thank you, Rush Girl. Oh. What's the hottest pepper you guys have eaten? Probably the ghost pepper. Same probably for Mark as well, no? Uh, Mark, all right, I'm gonna let the chat uh, answer this. What did Mark major at university? And welcome, Mao San. What color do you think Mao San is in this case? Is that a color? Yeah, Mao San is Vietnamese. What does it sound like to you? Red? That's red. a good guess, but not red. Opposite of red. Blue. Green. 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 Yeah. Welcome, Mao San. We're at 157 likes, so I guess that means another like goal. And we're everyone's at, saying history. We're at 124. And I am a history major. History lovers unite. <laughs> okay, our tomato is done. The potato and the carrots are done. The steak is go just going to be done right now. Mm. We got some people chiming in on the question earlier. Why would you want to be friends with someone you can't trust? Mm. Mikey says, nope, life is too short for shady friends. Move on and find new friends before you end up in jail, girl. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Opposite of red is green. Wait, what? Like, I meant that in, like, the complementary color sense. Like, yeah. opposite of the color. On wheel. the wheel, they're opposite. Yeah. I wasn't an art major yet. I know a lot of art. Orange is what? Blue. Um, that's the only thing. White and black. Purple and yellow. All oh, purple and yellow. Yeah. A lot of sports team colors use that uh, color just. scheme. Yeah. Everyone know you a history major. Ain't I'm no lie. Bye bye bye. Let's do this last shot. Oh yeah. Get this over with. This grill feels hot. Make sure I don't touch it because I the siren will go off if I touch the edge of this. I can feel the heat, y'all. It's really hot right now. My God, Explorers We Go is here. Hey, what's Welcome, up? Welcome, like from the other side of the world. Cheers. 
Oh, you inspire me to start working out. You know, I haven't started yet, but at least I'm thinking about it. I want to work out. I want to do yoga too. You inspire me to stay at better places when we travel, <laughs> but not working out. Okay, one twenty-five. Oh, careful! You're gonna burn yourself. Woo! One twenty-five. Okay, sticks ready. We like it medium rare, y'all. But but one twenty-five is rare. So it's rare, but because we're searing it, it'll probably get up to a medium rare. Don't worry, I still got a card here. Uh, I think we just did. Our like bowl shot, right? That's, I'm just gonna go with that. Nora says, my husband, a ta daddy, wants to know if you've ever had moon, moonshine. We've had moonshine in the parking lot of a, oh my God, that's insane. It looks good. That's insane. Yeah, we had moonshine in the parking lot of a wedding. We do not have children. We have Hedu, who's our fur baby. And we did not do April Fool's pranks. We don't partake in that, unfortunately. James would be so mad. Bonnie, thanks for dropping by in the live stream. Just got back to the hotel, vacationing with family. I will watch later on. All right, so in the chat right now, let us know how many new subscribers you think we've had since the last time we checked. Mark's gonna bring over the tomahawk steak, it appears. The, the yeah, little tray. I might need double tongs for. Oh, oh it's hot. Because I need to oil the steak, so I'm gonna bring it over. But don't touch the sheet. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stay far back. Okay, so stay far back. Do it. It smells so good. Well, no, no, no. I, I need oil for. But I was gonna show it, but maybe not. You can't show it. Okay. If you guys want to see the close up, sign up to our Discord for after the stream, and we'll give you the close up. Careful. <laughs> Well, uh, so Mark, you can't see it as well, but Mark is oiling the steak from back here. The bone looks cooked through, though. No, this is cooked through for a rare steak. Oh, looks good. Wait, should I take a picture of this now before or after it's seared? Let's do that. I'll do it after it's seared. So this side down first. Okay. I can't do this. Do you want me to hold the tray though? Yeah. Give me this because I need something to hold it with, right? You grab the the I'm, I, there's two, so grab the top one. Oh, this. Is it? Isn't that really heavy for one tongue? Oh my god! Do you need two tongs? Tong 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 tong. Angel. Angelia says, new subscriber, everyone. Welcome, Angelia, to this Hi. live stream. We are adding, oh my god. Okay. Look right. at this piece. We move this? Yeah, we don't need this anymore. I guess it could still sear. Oh my god, look how big this is. Does this look good or what, guys? Come on. It's, it smells good, actually. Do not regret signing up to our channel. Subscribe if you haven't. I think people are talking about underwear in the chat. I'm not sure. I'm not cut off. Caught up. My son says black, pink in your area. Black, pink in your area. All right, let's see. Let's just see real quick how many... Uh, Subscribers have jumped up. Maybe none. That could be embarrassing. I think we went up at least one. What do you think? Two. Two. Two, two new subscribers. One. Oh, one. one. But we've been okay. going up all night. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Joy is here. Hi, everyone. Hey, I'm on break. Joy. What I missed. This is what you're missing. This is a big, I would say, big ass piece of steak. So we, we're reverse searing it. Now I feel a lot of pressure because Joy handles meat all day in her yeah, job. Yeah. That meat is thick. Yes. Uh, Mikey says, set another skillet on top for better searing. Like the cast iron? Maybe? Yeah, to kind of push Compress it down it. a little bit, but. We'll make this work. We're trying to make it work. We'll make it work. We'll see what we're going to do. 
We still got a convo and chill card here. Don't worry, we still remember. Like this video. Uh, Bo Hugabi, welcome to the live stream. Thanks for joining us on Twitch. I just remembered you two. Oh, hey. Wow, subscriber count going up fast. Thank you so much. I really hope nothing goes off. I hope it's searing. I mean, is it on the highest? It is, right? I mean, it's pretty high. Okay. Uh, Chris, I don't think we answered the question, but I think generally speaking, only the person that originally answered the question will have to decide if they're going to be okay with trying to grant that person trust again, even though that trust was um, lost. About the baby daddy oh. scenario. Woo! Oh, look at that tear. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. It, it is tearing for sure. I, I, I need to see the, the the sides too. You'll get to see the sear side. Y'all, this is intense right now, no? You're fine, you're fine. Imagine if this was Korean barbecue. <laughs> this would be too much. Bye, Bendy. Thank you so much. That looks so great already. I have to go. I have to take over the wheel now. Snowstorm. Drive safe. Drive safe. And enjoy be, me the rest of the evening. Everyone. Be safe. Yeah. The music is in the background, but the sizzling is taking over. Uh, Gen A, we will try to figure out. Just remind us later on the stream after we're finished with this scenario, then we can potentially bring Hedio out. Uh, Yvette, thank you so much. I just started watching, and you guys give good vibes. Love it, and love the food you guys make. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. And if you are new to our stream and have not answered these three questions in the chat, please answer these three questions. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Yes. Quest uh, Rich over on Twitch says, what would be the garnish? So we have chimichurri sauce that we made earlier. We also have a couple of sides. Uh, that are all done. So as soon as this baby is cooked up, we're going to dig right in. So you'll see everything that we're eating. Joy B is moving to Pomona tomorrow. Oh my, you already yes. found a place? That's amazing. Yeah. Hi, Car Monkey. You have to catch up. It's been a while. Yeah. Restro says, are you guys going to sear the fat cap? Where is the fat cap? Will you guys be able to finish that tonight? I'll take leftovers, Bond's wife says. It looks delicious, thank you. We're definitely sharing this tonight. Yeah, there's no way. This is three and a half pounds. What's the normal serving size of like a steak when you go out to like a restaurant? Like if you're hungry, 16 ounces big. Yeah, that's one pound. Fighter Rich says, it looks so good. I'm getting hungry just now. LMFAO. Awesome. To all our Twitch people, we stream every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So if you can join us, we'd love to have you. And then we also are over on YouTube. So you can catch out some of our other uploads. And Mark got a compliment from Joe saying, I need Mark Hairperson to be mine. They're living for your life. Air life. Cool. Oh, that took a lot of arm muscle. Okay. Um, we need a we we're gonna let it rest on this cutting board. Yeah. So um 
can you bring that tray back if you need to wear the gloves? Someone said it looks burnt, but it's just a sear because we need to get it all nice and crusty. I don't think it looks burnt at all, actually. It's just a sear. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then just place it back here for now. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like... There we go. Where can, oh yeah. Well, it smells so good in here, guys. Thank you all for your patience. We about to dig into this very soon. Bowman says, looks awesome. Oh, oh, you okay? Uh, the bone is really just for presentation purposes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Fighting. I love the sizzle sound. RKS Gamer, welcome to the live stream. Hi, everybody. I wish I could get you to 200 views. You know what? We're just so happy that everyone who is here is here. So thank you so much for tuning in. Angelina is from, or Angelia, sorry, is from Omaha, Nebraska, Hot oh. Wings, and my mom is Rose. Awesome. Oh, that's right. Thanks for hanging out with us. We got a super sticker from Ms. Iris. Thank you so much for the $5 super sticker. We will uh, make sure we get to that once things settle down. It's a little chaotic right now. So remind me. And Iris, let us know if you want the song, or not the song, the drinking game or the convo and chill game. Two tongs for this, yeah, just in tongs, case. Two tongs. The tong, the tong, tong, tong. Melanie says the first thing I thought of when I first saw this was the Flintstones. Yeah. Yabba dabba doo. Yabba dabba doo. Care Jade, we season it with the same Weber, I think it's Weber seasoning that we used in our Palm Springs video. We decided we need to make use of it. Because we have a whole bottle of it. Thank you so much. Uh, Laria looks great. Thank you so much. Oh, damn, you should come to my restaurant too. I'm always there. Awesome. Thank you all for being here. Iris says convo and chill, so I'm going to grab a card so I don't forget. But we still owe you a song, so don't don't let us get a pass for that. Okay, let's have it rest for five, ten minutes. Okay, so then, why don't we do... And then we'll play it. Yeah, why don't we do Iris' song? Okay. I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sweating. It's, I'm just... I don't know. I don't sweat a lot. That's my problem. Oh, song. Song, 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 song. Oh, fine. So I'm scrolling up, scrolling up to Iris. Thank you for the $5 super sticker. All right, ready? Iris, Iris, Iris thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the $5 super sticker. Oh I got your convo and chill card off to the side, so you don't have to worry. We might actually do a question uh, right after. Uh, Explore as we go, we are actually not doing anything for Easter, it seems like. I don't think so. We don't have any plans. Yeah. Uh, John says, love the stream. Do you guys ever game on Twitch? So back in the day, I used to do, uh, what was it, Among Us and Fall oh, yeah. Guys, and I totally fell out of it. There was a period in time where we were doing Overcooked, but we stopped doing that, so. It got a lot of views, surprisingly. It did right? get a lot of views, yeah. yeah. So it's gonna let it sit. Why don't we do one of the? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are, you gonna are we cut up with all shots? Because I don't want to be behind. Oh yeah, all shots are taken care of, but we have two Ooh. questions. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, okay. the questions could happen after too. No, let's do it right now. Let's do it. Right, let's do one right now because this is we're, resting. We're just letting it rest. It looks so good. I actually want to do a video real quick. So yeah. why don't you read the question and have someone in the chat be so gracious and kind? So to retype it so we can pin it while I take this video. All right, so the question is, what are your thoughts on a 30-year-old dating an 18-year-old? What are your Ooh. thoughts on a 30-year-old dating an 18-year-old? If someone could type that out, we'll leave it up so that you could all answer. 
but that's the question for this card. What are your thoughts on a 30 year old dating an 18 year old? Oh, thank you, Elda. And he said, Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I'm trying to film something and you're like making me laugh. Eddie, get a hold of yourself. You're not 18, okay? All right, let's unpack this. Okay, if I was 18 years old, I don't know if I had enough. I, I still question my emotional intelligence now. So at 18 years old, I just feel like I, I mean, and, and I can't be general because not all 18 year olds are the same way that I was, but I would feel like I would have a hard time dating someone that was 30 if I was 18, because I haven't even had enough time to process or like develop certain like. How weird. I was thinking opposite mm. because I mean, both James and I, we are mm. way past our 30 year old birthday, but, but but as an 18 year old, like I wouldn't think 30 is that old, but then vice versa, like opposite of what you just said, as a 30 year old, I don't know if I could date an 18 year old knowing that they're just like, you know, it's technically like just became an adult from a kid, you know, like, I don't know as a 30 year old, I would be able to date a younger, like an 18 year old. Oh, so you're talking from the perspective of the older person yeah. versus the younger yeah. person. Got it, got it, got but it. But then as an 18 year old, I wouldn't mind a 30 year old. Oh, interesting. Because like, I don't think 30 is all that old, unless that's what I want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is 30 year old old? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think I, it's just a, it just depends. That's why I say I can't generalize for anyone in their experience of being an eighteen or thirty year old because everyone's experience is different. So, very interesting question. Very insightful. Uh, we did make chimichurri. Let's see what else everyone has says. Thirty and eighteen. I'm jealous. I mean, that's just in general. Uh, I think if they are both in for the right reasons, doesn't matter. It would be a bonus if they're rich. Mm, always a bonus. For the if the eighth year old's rich or the third year old's rich. It doesn't matter. Joy says, I be, I believe it is basically pedophilia. Just because they're Leo does not mean they are mature enough to really even know themselves as an adult. Uh Reagan says they're both in different places in life. I would say no. It is very different places in yeah. life. It's um I think as the old, if I was the older one, I'd be like always like worried or concerned about oh, does he want to like do something else? You know, because mm -hmm. he probably needs to explore life and stuff. But as a thirty year old, you're you're not at the same place. You're, you you want to settle down. You want to, yeah. you know, get married and have kids. So so that's this is a hard one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a one size fit all type of scenario. Ray says, I say, okay, I was in the opposite situation. I was 19, he was 43, I'm an old soul. That's what I'm saying. It's like very different for everyone's experience. Mm. Rachel says 12 years difference, wouldn't think about it. It depends on the individuals. Uh, Bond's Life says, I think if they're both in it for the right reasons, then it doesn't matter. And if they're rich, just a bonus. Plus I think it's just two to three months romance if it's just for fun. It's just simply not my place to judge who falls in love with whom. As long as they're consenting adults, they can make their own decisions. That's a good way like, of putting if it. If the question was like, I don't know, like a 50 year old with 18, like I think that would like be even more of a, oh, what? But then like a 30 and 18 doesn't even seem like that far apart yeah. at the same time. I don't know. Uh, Anaya, thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, St. Garcia says, it's weird. I'm 30 and can never 25 plus years with the 30 plus years is fine. In my weird moral stance. I mean, yeah, it's just one of those like people just approach it with what they're comfortable with. So well, who's to say like, then at that point is like, does that, does the family member's opinion matter more or the friend's opinion matter? <laughs> no, it's just like whatever, whatever you're able to do uh, as consenting adults. So I did really like what, how Rush Girl did. Um, yeah. Because I, you can make the same argument for us, like being together, people might not agree with that. And like, mm, you know, Love is love. So love is love. Good question. 
They're deep today. Oh, I love, deep, deep I love how Bubba and Julie are kind of talking to each other, but indirectly. <laughs> yeah. It also changes when you're older. So if you're like 20 mm -hmm. and what's what's the age difference? 12? Yeah. Yeah, 12. If you're no, if you're 30 and 42, that, that sounds awesome. way more like reasonable. Well, than because I think you just base it off the fact that they've had enough like, time to you think about where they are in their life. Yeah. I think that's more important. Yeah. Just real quick. Brilliant. Ask a couple of guys that can't figure out gender for their judgment on age. They've already been blocked. It's okay. This person has a lot of hate in their heart. I don't, I don't understand that. I know my gender. Do you not know yours? I do. <laughs> so it's okay. Let's not let's not even pay attention to those comments. That's no, that's the problem. No, my feeling is these people say stuff and they feel like they can get away with it and they get blocked. But I just want to just oh, call I, them out for a second and say, no, it's not cool. Okay. No, that's you're fine. immature to have to like come no. on a stream to say something. Yeah, like that. that's, that's fine. All I'm saying. But I'm also thinking that they do that to get attention too and to get a well, reaction. Sad, so. right? Yeah, it's kind of sad. They're probably eighteen years old, or if younger. Are we ready to like cut this up? Uh, maybe, maybe one more minute, and then I think. It rested enough. I don't. Even, I don't. I lost track of time. I think it's been at least five minutes. Mm. I don't know if it's been five minutes actually, but then let's wait. Maybe uh, two, uh, minutes, two, two minutes. Two minutes. minutes two minutes, and we'll be good. Uh, Donna says, "Truly love you both. I just found your channel two weeks ago, and I've been binge watching when I get off work from the hospital. Truly oh my gosh! So awesome. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you so much for." Everything that you're doing, I'm sure the hospitals are like really intense and crazy right now. And for so the past year and a year, yeah. For sure. So thanks for like spending your free time with us. Um, let us know the answers to these two questions. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Oh, people are still on the age thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. We'll save this till after we eat dinner because I feel like it could go like longer than after you start cutting. The next question? Yeah, or do you want to do it now? No. Oh. Uh, Mao San is in Vietnam. Favorite food is pho, hu thieu, and banh mi. They are very delicious. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Yes, that's our favorite, one of our favorite Vietnamese food too, right? Oh my God. It, it smells, smells so really good. good. It smells so good. It smells really good. Okay. Thank you. Boss Life says, you guys are both so cute, patiently waiting to cut the meat. You guys are even cuter because you're waiting for us to cut the meat. Oh, should I film this? Really? Oh, what are you doing? Just kind of like yeah. scraping it? Okay, give me a second. Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here's a bone. Okay. <laughs> Are you just slicing them now? Yeah. Okay. Against the grain, right? I'm just gonna slice. Oh my gosh. You guys wanna see the close up of this? Sign up to our Discord. <gasps> Oh my god, it smells so good. Perfectly pink. Give me some meat, Elda says. And Donna is answering a question. I'm in Arkansas. I found you both from B Love's channel, and I'm Korean and white, and I love Yukejan. Oh, oh. We, ju we just had you get Yeah, I hope you saw that video. We just did it recently. This looks great. We'll give you a closer up. I know right now it's kind of hard to see. Tony says, I, my dog would love that bone. I think any dog would love this <laughs> bone, right? Ray says, I need that in my mouth now. And Eileen Candy says, I want the fat. Food porn at its finest. It, indeed, it is.
Thank you guys all for sticking around for this part of the stream. It's phenomenal. I tell you this much. I want the whole steak. Jeremy, I'm going to highlight your comment. I feel sad my message came up on the screen and you never even read it. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. But if you need to repeat your message, feel free to do so now. Sometimes things get intense behind the scenes. So we try our best to keep up with the comments. But if we ever miss it, feel free to just drop it again. How is it? Good? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. It's so tender. Mmm. Joy B, have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you later. See you on Discord. Mmm. Oh my gosh. We got this off of Amazon Fresh, correct, Wove? Wait, correct, Mark? Well, I was reading Wolf Wolf Nam's comment, and I said the wrong name. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just messing with you. No worries. Oh my god, it's so good. Bernie Hernandez, I've been binge watching your videos these couple of days. Are you new to our stream? Uh, let us know the answer to these three questions. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? <laughs> John says you should get rid of your surgery glove. Touching the food is part of it. You know, that's not going to happen around here. Sorry, John. But it's okay. We're going to play it beautifully, and you're going to enjoy it. Y'all, I hope you have your food and drinks ready. Clarissa, I'm sorry we missed your uh, answers. I'm not new. haven't answered yet, though, but... I'm from Palm Springs, found you guys from Angelina, and the favorite food is Filipino food. We awesome. love Palm Springs. <laughs> Joe says, Mark is so hot. Let's say it again. Those bangs. You're <laughs> living for your bangs today. Oh, we try to do my hair like this now? I guess. Tracy says, ah, I barely made it. Hi, I'm James and Opa Mark. Love, love that uh, greeting. That's so cute. How are you tonight? You just came in time. We're about to eat. No worries, Bond Vlog says not to waste perfectly good meat in a salad, but the meat would be so delicious in a steak salad. I would agree. I think so too. Be delish. Delish. You guys, make sure you also thumbs up this video if you have not yet. And showing all of our love to our Twitch streamers who are watching us, our Twitch viewers. If you're watching on Twitch, drop an emoji. Drop a head emoji. Everyone say hello to Jess Marie, new to your channel. Welcome, Jess, to Mark and James. Welcome. James and Mark. We stream every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And if you're since you're new to our channel, please answer these questions. Where the are chat. you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Yes. Mark is multitasking. He, he has to ask, ask all those questions. We got this tray of meat here. Oh, my gosh. It's dripping, but Hedu's not in sight. Guys, this week I dropped... Um, a bagel and Hedu just went for it. He didn't care. He was like, this is my only chance. So I had to like literally pick him up. Luckily he didn't try to bite me or anything. I was really concerned about that, but he was fine. I took him away. Bernie, thank you for answering these questions. Uh, from El Paso, Texas, favorite food, Mexican food. Found you guys because I watched you go taste one of Kim's restaurant. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here, Bernie. And answering those questions. I hope you don't regret. I'm subscribing. Regret. Did I say the wrong word? I mean, is DJ Slurry here? DJ Slurry needs to have a little food in his belly or he's going to get slurry -er. I think it'll help if we have another, yeah, board. Triple M's, welcome. Happy Friday. Everyone, thank you so much for all of the warm welcome. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Casey says, hi, friends. The food looks delicious. Thank you so much. We're going to do a little ele elevation technique here. How's that look? It's better. Okay. I'm going to turn off the branding because we're not at 200 likes yet, so we're okay. Eddie says, maybe DJ Slurry is better at Tetris. I've been winning all my games. I'm ready to crush you after this. I hope you're ready. Clarissa, we're always open to trying new foods. I don't know offhand where we would be able to get Nigerian food, 
but we can definitely look into it. <laughs> Jess Marie is from Canada. Favorite food is seafood. Saw you went to one of Kim Tai's recommended restaurants. So how many people saw us from that video? We're so grateful that you guys decided to check us out. Thank you so much. Island Candies, I don't know if we're gonna finish it all, but we shall see. Bernie says, hello, you're all so nice. You know, that's what we do. That's what we do. Mark's adding a little carrot game in here. Yes, Joe, you deserve it. I work 12 hour days, I deserve my Friday. Yes, Kim Tai is the sweetest, thousand percent. Oh, how beautiful. I have to do another panoramic of this now. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, how are the potatoes? It looks really good. Mmm, try it. Mm, simple, but... Mm. Oh. Mmm. Tell me how to make it a Gordon Ramsay style and we will make it happen. Jansen, thank you so much. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. Got here late. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? You missed everything, but you didn't miss the eating. The eating is about to happen. We just made this tomahawk steak with some sides. It's going to be amazing. Like Lynn says, looks amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Julie, no canned potatoes were harmed in the making of this mukbang. <laughs> Sorry. Casey, my shirt says National Sarcastic Society. Like, we need your support. Is that confit garlic? I don't think it's confit, but we have a chimichurri sauce that Mark. Oh, this is a this is Instagram. Sometimes you gotta like prompt me. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Go. Y'all, sorry, I'm living my Instagram fantasy right now. I don't mean to ignore you and be rude, but this got to get done. If you guys want the close-up shot of this, sign up to our Discord after the stream. It's in the description. All you got to do is, like, click on a link, set up an account, and you're all set. Um, Mark, we've had lobster mac and cheese plenty of time. $300 dinner night for sure. Actually, it's, I mean, it's much more affordable doing it at home. It's just more work. How does it look, though? It's incredible. It looks so good. Oh, my God. Did you take a picture of the plate? I did. Hi, Annie. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so our uh, we have more sides on the side, so if you want to grab more potatoes. Or okay. Uh, Joe, Mark's concentration in his nonprofit is related to domestic violence, and mine is uh, related in affordable housing. Mark is so smooth with preparing food. Great job. I'm hungry now. Isn't this so good? <gasps> oh, wine. Wine. I'm so thirsty. Do you need a wine opener? Or is no, it I would open it. Remember we smelled it? Oh, my God. Okay, I'll grab the wine then. We smelled it. I do. Because the moment I smelled it, you want to taste it? Just give you a full pull. You don't give like me a it. full pull. Thank you. Ray says, where's the Malbec? We almost forgot. Heavy handed, huh? Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, this looks really good. No? Oh, so good. Can you, can can you, you see, see it? it? Should we do one? Sure. You do it or me? I'll do it. <gasps> I can't tilt it really, but you guys get the idea. There's the steak with the bone as a, and then right behind there's all the sides. You're like that wasn't good enough for me. Sign up to the Discord. Just, you see all of it. Just, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Oh, 
Oh, the wine's good. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. All right, I'm ready just to dig in. Does it matter where we start, really? No, it doesn't matter. Is there extra chimichurri sauce, too? Yeah, we have more. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, oops. It's on the board. Okay. I just got a few pieces so that I could just put it on my plate. Oh, my God. You got it? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Dude. So this is technically supposed to be between rare and medium rare. Mm. Yeah. It looks perfect in color. It is so perfect in color, yeah. It's gonna do a whole oh yeah, I probably have to cut it. Okay. Wait for me, wait for me. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Mmm. Jimmy Cherry right here. Oh, you want more? I just want to be able to like, it's so good. Mmm. Doesn't that look incredible? Look at that. that this is going to be the new thumbnail. <laughs> right? Jimmy Cherry Sauce, you'll just have to go back to like the 30 minute mark of this video and you can find out exactly what we put in here. I want to try one of the tomatoes. Mmm. So delicious. We're so quiet because we're we're so we need to savor so, it. We need to savor the food. I really wish that COVID is not here so that we could actually invite people over <laughs> to share this food with, you know? Mmm. Mmm. How's the tomato? Good. It brightens it up. Oh, this is so good. Mm. What a treat. This is perfect for two people. Now I understand, like, most restaurants, when you get tomahawk steak there, it's they always share. for two. Yeah. They always, like, $90, $90 $100 tomahawk steak with two sides for two people. Mm -hmm. So this is incredibly delicious. Let's try one of these carrots. Carrots. So this is from the farm to fresh carrots, right? Yeah. The red carrots. Supposedly, look, they're really sweet. Look how red they are. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They don't taste the carrots. Mm -mm. It doesn't taste like another root vegetable, but not, it doesn't taste the carrots. Mm. Like, yeah. Mm. Good night, Clarissa. Good night. Oh, it's it's already eight forty. I feel like it's it should be seven thirty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry, the food took a little bit longer than usual, huh? It's all good. Mm. Oh, hi, Hello. Well, Bonnie, what kind of diet are you on? I mean, besides the tomato or the potato, like this could be ke considered keto. But right? not everyone's on the freaking keto yeah. diet either, yeah. right? Yeah. But I guess this is like I. The only thing that might be like out of bounds is maybe the oil. Yeah. But 
Isn't olive oil like considered healthy fat? I don't know. I'm not a dietitian, so don't take any advice from me. But I have been losing weight, so maybe you should take advice from me. You are losing weight. Hedy is like pitter pattering around because of the bagel incident from earlier this week. Now he thinks we're clumsy and drop food all the time. Explore. You know what? Steak for breakfast is pretty common. You know, steak and eggs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I order that for breakfast. Steak and eggs. Eggs over medium. For me. How do I get? Do I just do this? Uh -huh. Mm. Oh my god, everyone, the wine's so good with this. It does pair really well. Mm. Mm. Um, Ray says olive oil is good fat. You know, I think all fat is good fat, you know? <laughs> I have some fat here. More for me to more for you to love. Mmm. We have more potato uh, potatoes and carrots. Oh yeah, we're there. definitely gonna eat more of those. Yeah. I'm dipping the potatoes in the chimichurri. <clears throat> Mark, good night. I'm passing out. Thanks for joining the stream. Good night. Did my voice just crack. <laughs> Eddie says, "Remember the office when Michael dips his steak in his wine?" For some reason, that just popped in my head. <laughs> I didn't watch that episode. I didn't watch that episode, <clears throat> but that's how Seems James like loves to eat. And and when I first met James, I was like. Well, I never realized anybody could love sauce that much, mm. right? James used to just, <clears throat> I don't know, eat, like the sauce more than the food sometimes. That's how I felt. Explorers we go says, if wine is good with steak, then is grape jelly good with steak? <laughs> well, they sell, they have the toast that's served with grape jelly. So I think it would work still. A little sweetness. Mm. This is incredible. It's good. <laughs> Sixty dollars for a piece of steak that's shareable for two. I think is so reasonable. Yeah, and it's just a steak piece. We can bottle up this chimichurri sauce too. By the way, oh, you think so? Yeah, so good. Mm. You know, one day I would love to bottle sauces, but what I would be like concerned with is like how long it lasts. How long does it last? Like if you if you can it, does it last longer? Does it have to be like that's the part I don't know and I don't want to be liable for anything. <laughs> okay, we have to watch this. It's apparently it's a dinner party episode of the office. You know, it it rings a bell, but I can't point a finger to it. Gigi mm. says those sound effects, I can just imagine how delicious it tastes. Tomatoes are so cute. Yeah, I mean, I know James is not a big tomato fan, but I thought have I saw someone roasting tomatoes on the vine before, and I was like, oh my god, it's such a vibrant red color. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just wanted that red color on here. Mm. So good. Okay, can, should we go with another um, combo card? Yeah. All right, we're going to do the next combo. This is our last one that we have on deck unless we get another one. The question is, and if someone can chat this in the chat, name a deal breaker for you in a relationship. Mm. Name, name a deal, a deal breaker. breaker in a relationship. 
That's so weird because wasn't there a question last week? Oh, if, oh, if long this is long distance a deal breaker, was that the question? No. Oh, if your partner can't cook, is that? A deal oh yeah, breaker? yeah, yeah. What was the long distance question? Can you be in a long distance? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Deal breaker, eh? Oh, some of these are hefty. Look at this one. This one looks like a T-bone steak by, by itself. Mm. All right, you go first. Well, I already saw some people say this too, but I mean, I do work for domestic violence service provider so obviously if someone it doesn't have to be violence it, it's just abusive behavior like financial abuse verbal abuse mm. physical abuse like any <clears> form <throat> any of, of abuse where a person is using their power to control over you that would be a huge deal breaker for me it's all about mutual respect, but if that if that doesn't if that's not there, then that's a deal breaker. Hmm. <laughs> well, the part that resonated. For what you just said that i probably would like latch on to is just a uh, mutual respect like if that doesn't exist then it's like what's the point because i feel like relationships are always built around some level of respect and so once that is like taken advantage of or is no longer existent then it's like what's the point hmm. so yeah i probably would do like something in that vein slash Yeah, I mean, I do just respect. If they don't have any respect for me, then I don't think that would work. Okay, let's think of other, like, more superficial deal breakers then. Um, I know some people can't do height thing. Like, they can't date someone that's shorter or taller, depending on... Oh, interesting. Me? I don't think I would mind... Tall or short, I have. I, I'm, I'm. I would be kind of intrigued well, either way. I'm not tall, so I wouldn't mind shorter because I'm not even. I'm short myself, technically, you know, R relatively speaking. So I don't mind shorter, but if if they're like, I don't know, how, like if someone's like, I don't know, seven feet tall, like, yeah. Like, it's not a deal breaker. Oh no, it wouldn't for me. Like, because I guess if I was with a shorter person, then I would have that like, oh, I could pick you up feeling. And then if someone's taller than me, oh, you could pick me up. So I'm like happy either way. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We're the same height ish. So there's not that much picking up or <laughs> yeah, and there's not much picking up going on. So. Yeah. Okay, one more superficial uh, thing then. Um, I know some people that I mentioned, like, especially like when you're, you know, friends that are like swiping through the app, like some people don't care for people that <clears throat> are like unemployed. Like that's a deal breaker for them because they feel like, oh, I want to be with someone that is established before they like get into a relationship with me. I've heard that before. You know what? Before, that wouldn't have been a deal breaker for me at all. Before. Before. But now. But now? And you know this because, like, I'm starting to, like, calculate our retirement calculator and, like, just knowing, like, okay, at what age if we retire, are we, like, I'm starting to think about 
grown-up ideas mm -hmm. that now that I if I think out loud, if someone were in a lot of debt or didn't have a job or didn't have any sit like if, at this age, that might be maybe a deal breaker because then I would be like, well, I don't want to work until I'm like six, you know, whatever. That's fair. So like, can I? Would that be like something that I would be like turn off now? You're like I don't. I wonder. Probably. Uh, Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling James, put more into your retirement account. Um. All right. Let's see what you guys had to say. Bernie says lies. Yeah. I mean, that's mm. not a fun thing to deal with. Tara, I think, was in the same school. Uh, violence. Yeah. Violence. Just okay. said poor hygiene, bad breath. I mean, that would be hard too, because like a lot of. I associate intimacy a lot with like having to be really physically close to someone. So I think it would be very difficult if they exhibited poor hygiene and bad breath. Like how how would you get into that mind space if right. they're not there? Right. Ms. Jen Wingo says irresponsible. Ray says violent. Julie says speedo. <laughs> Bubba, what? Bubba. I, I thought that was a reason why you married Bubba. I thought that was a deal maker for you. Bubba says aggressive cuddling. Oh no! Now the Discord conversations are coming out. Yeah, um, you Julie, didn't do it. You, you're yeah. doing it. Julie said snoring. <laughs> so like, I think you heard the question wrong. It's more now. It sounds like what do you tolerate from your partner? Mm, These aggressive are aggressive cuddling and snoring. Yeah. Harley, welcome to the live stream. Thanks for being here. And TM is also here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, happy Friday. Eddie says, well, I see how they treat others like waiters and waitresses. And if they are assholes, bye. Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's a good indication. Uh, Reshko says, when your partner tries to keep you a secret from the other people, family in his life, that happened to me. Huge deal breaker. Wow. wow. Yeah. See, and if they keep you a secret from their personal life, there's something up. Yeah. There's something up. Yeah. Yeah. Wovnam says, not fighting for the remote controller, watching shows together. Mm -hmm. Wait, not fighting for the remote controller? Like, they are they agree that they're watching the same thing. Not oh. like, you need to watch what I want to watch and vice versa. Oh, dang. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Candace says, gaslighting or laziness. Oh. Lind agrees with you 100%. Maggie says, deadbeat parent, how will you be everything I need you to be if you don't even take care of your mm. children? Yeah. Marianne says, a narcissist. Mm. <laughs> I feel like laziness is one of those characteristics that really is a Pandora box in a relationship. Because, like, how do you, I mean, can you tell about laziness early on in a relationship? Or you don't really find out until... Like you're actually in like a living situation together to know if someone's like lazy or not. Or like they like grow into that maybe. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Julie, from an anatomical viewpoint, PSIs. I, oh, but earlier, uh, Julie and Bubba, they were, they misread the question. It's not a deal breaker, but it's what you tolerate. <laughs> Is yeah! That? Oh my gosh! Don't do that! I'm gonna move on. Bernie says, "Harry feet." <laughs> what? Wow! Like if you're not into Harry feet, then you're not into Harry feet. Dirty shoes. Oh, I feel like all but of a sudden I need to like what, clean mine. But what if what if it's Harry feet in a dirty shoe? No, that's double layer. I'd rather do. I mean, hairy feet doesn't bother me. Dirty I mean, shoe would probably it's something that I would glance at and be like, hmm. But maybe not a deal breaker if this person was like, yeah. everything else is good, you know? Yeah. Reagan says, someone who is shorter than me. Yeah, so that's something I've heard. Someone with anger management issues or someone that calls me negative mm -hmm. names. Yes. No. That's Everyone's not sharing tonight. I'm loving all of the dialogue. Uh, Mark says, could not do the no teeth thing. I'm trying to process that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to process that. I cannot. No right teeth <laughs> Wait, I only could think of one thing. I don't know what else. Like no teeth? Yeah, like, literally they don't have teeth, right? Oh, so, is that? Oh, what oh are you literally? Think? What huh? are you thinking then? Oh, when they're doing that? Yeah. 
Like yeah, that's a deal breaker if they use teeth during it and then Oh I don't I don't, I don't know. Can I don't you know. clarify Can so you, we don't yeah. come up with our like crazy <laughs> Reagan says someone who doesn't like children or dogs. I can see that. Someone with no legs. Oh, Explores We Go says, I think the biggest thing for us is to support each other's dreams no matter what it is. Deal breaker is to always be supportive as best you can. Absolutely. But what if both your dreams are polar opposite? Then who supports what dream? Because you can't be doing it at the same time if they're opposite dreams. Interesting. Like, let's just say my dream is to, you know, I don't know live in Palm Springs full time. And then your dream is to not, you know, just uh, further your foundation in Orange County. Like that, those are competing dreams, right? Yeah. yeah. So is that a deal breaker for you? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Like, oh. what, if, what if like both dreams are their polar opposite? Yeah. yeah, what do you do then? These steak slices are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, Explorers, we go. Good night or good morning. We are editing a new video and hope to share our upcoming Thailand adventures. Oh, awesome. we'll be sure yeah. to watch it. Thailand, lucky. Uh, Kara Jade said, someone who wouldn't want to spend time with my family. Mm. Shannon says, I wouldn't want someone with IBS. I mean, I can see that. <laughs> It sounds like you had someone that had a gas. Like a run-in with that. Bernie. That's so specific. Um, sorry, I highlighted the wrong comment. Bernie says, can you guys give me some advice going through a breakup? Feel free to drop it in the chat. And people here are welcoming. And oh, they and will we share. Have more than us, we have a lot of very insightful people on our channel. So just ask your question, and then we'll be sure to help you. Bond's Life says, I think a huge deal breaker is not being on the same page about finances. My boyfriend and I, uh, five years almost broke up because I was so financially irresponsible. Mm. Just, let's I just, think I'm good after this. Let's just finish the potatoes. It's good after what? I'm like this small plate. I think I'm I'm done after this. So. <gasps> I want one more piece Keep of steak. Eating, yeah. Can I do one more piece? You don't have to ask me. I'm not controlling. No, it's just the wine is so good with the meat that I, I feel like I want to eat more food so that I could drink more wine. It, it pairs really well. NPR, great recommendation. Get your Alma Adina Reserve Malbec 2018 with a chimichurri steak. Is there a lot to clean up today? Kind of. I'm not even thinking about that. Okay, good. We'll clean up when it, it, it gets to that point. <laughs> mm. Island Candies, what's there left to show you on the cutting board? It's just this. I think we have three good pieces of meat left and a mound of potatoes and two carrot Carrots, thingies. Yeah. Kind of feel like we need to make like empanadas or something to eat the sauce with. Yeah, what else can you eat chimichurri with? Can we just make grilled cheese sandwiches and just dip it in it? Oh yeah, that would work. Mm, we're at 200 on one likes. Oh, yeah. what? It's so hard for us to even get to 200 likes before end of the live stream, huh? Mm -hmm. Th that means a shot, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh! I think we had 35 subscribers today. We've been getting like 30 every day, which is really good for us. We used to get like five a day. <laughs> So this is nice. Thank you all for supporting us and enjoying the stream and good vibes and hanging out and nice way to start off Easter weekend. This was phenomenal. You did such a good job. It's like so different from what we ate on Monday. Yeah. 
Like so different. Man. What do you need? Well, I don't know if you want to do this before we end or save it. For what is time. that? But I picked up the Reese's egg, Easter egg chocolate. So if you want I don't to- think I've ever eaten one of those ever. You're right. I don't think I have either, but um, it looks cute. You know what I really wanted as a kid? Mm. I think it's British, um, but it's the egg chocolate with the caramel filling inside. Okay. But as a kid, they kept showing the commercial for it. I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm cr- like that's what I want, but I don't think I've ever had it in my life. But what I don't I forgot the name of it. I might start with a C, a C or you don't know what I'm talking about. I think it's the shape of an egg. But it was British. I think it's British. Mm. Cadbury mm. egg. Yes. Oh my god, right. You just went into my mind, came back out and be like Cadbury eggs. That's what I wanted. I feel like Ray is so cool. He is very knowledgeable. Every time we talk about something in like um, Discord, I just he feel knows, like he just he knows. knows. Oh, there you go. But here's the Reese's eggs. So we'll have one before we end the stream. How about that? Because it's Easter, you know? Um, Mikey says, yes, Mark, you're speaking my language. The best part of Easter, Reese's eggs. Reese's eggs. Yeah. Um, Mark mentioned uh, being Jewish. If I don't marry a Jewish woman, my family would disown me. So anyone not Jewish is a deal breaker. Um, Sydney says, James and Mark, do y'all ever get recognized when you're out in public? Like by our neighbors? Like once, no, in, a really, full, once in a full blue moon. It happens, it happens like once a year. Once or twice yeah. a year at most. It's fine. I mean, wow. It happened when we are in Japan, though. That was really random. That was random. The Japan one was really random. And then H Mart one time. And then we we're eating Korean barbecue, but that person never came up to us. They messaged James afterwards. Like, oh, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. So three, four times since we started YouTube, mm-hmm. but pretty much once a year. How many glasses of water for you guys drink a day? Like three or four, two or three, four, huh. two, <laughs> two to four. Nice. Are you counting the coffee that you drink as the water? I mean, uh, no, nah, I wasn't counting that, but mm. I would, but I was kind of my metamucil. <laughs> Please don't say that again. I'm just kidding. Reagan says it's because you're in a huge city. I don't think it's that, I really don't. It's okay. It's not like we want to be recognized either. We're fine living our life and doing our thing. Sometimes I feel like when we film, that draws attention to us, but then people are like, well, I still don't know who these people are, Mm. so it doesn't matter. Mm. I'm not a big fan of peeps. No, but one time at work, we wanted to do something fun, and we actually microwaved them, Mm -hmm. and they actually became this big. A peep? Yeah, you know how peep is like this, like this big. If you microwave them, it becomes this big. Mm. Why would you ever microwave it? To see it grow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris says, "I had a date who threw down the money, so waitress had to pick it up. That was our last date. I won't put up with Reese. Oh my god, oh, that's no. horrible. Uh, I'm that so sorry so that rude. happened. That was so rude. Oh my gosh." Uh, good night, Mark. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. See you soon. Please join our live soon. We had so much fun with you. I would totally be a fangirl. Like, would you make us take a picture with you or not? That's fine. I oh, totally we would, would love te- it. We will definitely do a pi- for sure a picture. Oh. Pebula? The Hello. wine is so good right now. I should drink more wine. I, my I second need to glass. chill more. I need to chill more. I'm like so like caught up in everything. No, I'm okay. Oh. Yeah. So is Peeps just marshmallow like colored in the shape of a duck? duck? I don't 
But it's not like real marshmallow either. It's like, cause marsh, it doesn't taste exactly like a marshmallow. Huh. Did you, so like for what you bought here, did you shop around or was it like the first thing you saw and then like, I'm gonna pick this up or did you kind of look at some of the other Easter offerings? Like Master Manos, like uh, I, it was, it was the Easter candy aisle and then I was like, oh, you know, I know James loves Reese's Pieces in general, like yeah. peanut butter chocolate. So, um, and I've heard great things about their eggs. So I was like, oh, just pick it up. But I didn't really go like looking for it. Mm. I actually was going to text you. And then I realized I don't want to do that. So I didn't text you. Because uh, I was going to like, oh, maybe we should pick up like uh, one of those egg dye kits. But I was like, I don't know how much work there is in the stream. And now that I'm on the other side, really good judgment call to not have if that. we were gonna do like talk about or like just like yeah, yeah we don't even cook and we just order food yeah of course i would love to do egg dye yeah yeah so we should i don't know now here's the thing because egg dye uh usually use hard boiled eggs but as a kid like would you be happy to find easter eggs and you know like when easter egg hunt and then but it's, it's an actual egg and you have to eat the hard boiled egg. I don't remember like ever desiring to eat the actual egg. But as a kid, a lot of my eggs were hard boiled eggs. Yeah, probably because your mom wanted you to eat hard boiled eggs instead of candy. So I mean, but I, it it still made it special because those colors yeah, yeah, painted, course. and like finding them and then eating it afterwards. Like I I never was like, Ugh, what is this? But now that I think about it, like, do kids, like, do people still use real eggs? I don't think so. They just buy that bag of five, $5 plastic eggs from Target and fill it up with smaller versions of these Reese's Pieces and oh, say, I'm done with I, I grew up having to eat their hot bowl eggs and dipping it in a little bit of salt, you know, and eating it. I don't know. You guys let me know. I don't, re I don't recall that memory at all. Like, you, where I actually you never them. had hot bowl eggs for Easter. I can't remember. Oh. I doubt it, though. Mm. I feel like it was the plastic eggs for us. Let's see if anyone can relate. Um, in the meantime, Mikey's planning to microwave a peep now. <laughs> no, be safe. It? I don't remember like how many seconds. Maybe go Google it, but we found it on Google. And we're like, oh, let's try it out. And it actually grew its size. Interesting. Regan says, I would ask you to sign my shirt. Totally would. What would you make us write on there? James and Mark? James and Mark, yeah. Ray said, I would do a photo shoot. Yes. Vanessa says, I would definitely make you guys take a pic. Oh my God, what an honor. What not so that fun. special? Yeah. Julie says, if I ever saw James and Mark in public, I would sneak them. Stalk them. I would stalk them, then sneak up on them and whisper canned potatoes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, such a vivid uh, or approach. Buy us some bikinis. Uh, Dwayne says, "Do you guys ever get a rude remark while I sh while shopping? I did today. What happened? Because he couldn't reach a shelf, so someone called him. Not a nice name. I mean, I think there's all. I don't think so much in shopping, but we get so many rude remarks on this channel sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's like probably the main source of it." I think the reason why it happens more frequently here is because people can hide behind being able to say mean things. Whereas in public, you gotta have some balls to like say something mean to somebody else because nowadays you're gonna get caught in candy camera and then you're gonna try to get you fired from your job for saying something that you shouldn't have said. So well, there are a few times like when we go into like a store that's a little bit like higher priced items. Oh yes. Or, like we may not look like we could afford it so when the workers don't even like pay attention to us that bugs me that bugs you that bugs me it's probably because i'm wearing like rainbow sandals and like shorts and, and like a and like <laughs> we may look a little bit younger than our actual age. i don't know what the reason is but i hate when they just assume Oh, uh, they're not gonna buy anything, so let's not pay attention to them. Yeah, like 
fine. Bust out our credit card and we're gonna buy the whole store and then return it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you, jo- you laugh at your jokes so hard. Isn't that funny? No, I would hate to like have to go back to return something. Yeah, I, I'm I'm the, I'm the You're worst, the worst person one to return things. I'm the wor- it doesn't fit me. It's still in my closet. Like I I have a really hard time returning things. So now's a good time to segue into the chat. Can you guys convince Mark to use the rice cooker? You have a parsley. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, hold on. The, I'm so sorry. What? No, because I realized the imagery of using like chopsticks as a toothpick probably <laughs> made it look funny. Okay. But at least I got I got it out right. You're right. What what Mark has taught me, it's taken it's taken a number of years. It's always think about the person's intention, not what actually ended up happening. Oh. So your intention was you just didn't want parsley in my teeth, so fine, I looked embarrassed in it, but you just cared about me, so that's why you did it. Okay. I have, to, I have to roll with that. Sometimes I get mad and I'm like, what, intention what, intention what? No, you hurt me. But it was an accident. I was like, oh, okay. Because I have a little threshold of pain, so if Mark hurts me on an accident, it doesn't matter. I spit mad. He's like, ow, wow, that hurts. I was like, I'm sorry that that was an accident. Like, I don't know. But yeah, the accident shouldn't have happened. I'm just being playful now, but now you're taking it to another level. Let's read the comments about the rice. National Sarcastic Society. Let's read the comments about the rice cooker. Let's see. Mark, a total pretty woman moment. Mm. What did you just do? That was a pretty Oh, like when you go into a place and they don't like. I don't know why, but the first thing I thought is when she like grabs the ring and it like, and then she laughs really jovially. That, I mean, that's what you just did with your own joke. I love Julia Roberts. You do? Yeah. Name three of her movies in five seconds. Aaron Brockovich. Five, four, oh, three, uh, closer. two, one. And uh, Notting Hill. She's not in Notting Hill. That's Sandra Bullock, right? Oh, yeah, who's in Notting Hill? Well, hold on. Are you thinking of nine and a half weeks or Notting Hill? <gasps> who is in Notting Hill? Now I don't know who. Wait, Hugh, Hugh Laurie was in Notting Hill for sure. But I don't remember. Who's, the, what? Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant, yeah. Who's Hugh Oh, Laurie. Hugh Laurie is uh, the guy in the house. Sorry. Oh, no, Hugh Grant. And she was Julia in Notting Robin Hill? And Julia Roberts. How come you didn't even say Pretty Woman? Because you thought we already said it. Oh, so I, I like, thought oh. I couldn't say that. Oh, but okay. I still said three movies of hers. Yeah, but you didn't do it in the time constraint. The name, the name of the movie was long. Aaron Brockovich, you know, closer and not a hill. You should have done like Steel Magnolia or Aaron Brockovich. I never long. saw Steel Magnolia. I think you like it because it's like it's one of those like female lead cast type of movies. Really? A lot of strong, yeah. yeah. Sally Fields in it. Dolly Parton. What? Yeah. Sally Field. Yeah. Dolly Parton. I think Sally like... Field is Julia Roberts' mom in that movie. What? I don't even know. I don't really. even know what the movie is. I thought it was Tom Cruise in the movie. Steel, no, that's Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not going to make fun of you because that is a clear, like, Steel Magnolia, Magnolia, fine. Okay. I'll give that to you. Okay. okay. I'm going to change the woman. Oh. You know, I'm giving, I'm like, I'm trying not to. <laughs> yeah, you're embarrassed. Okay, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. Just Marie says, and James said he was done eating. Mark is right. That wine will have you eating. Yeah, I'm like picking out all the potatoes back here behind this bone. Oh, but this wine is so good with the steak. Yeah. This is too much. I'm sorry. I probably missed a bunch of. Uh, I didn't even realize people were commenting right now. I mean, there's a lot of comments. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Mark, use the expensive rice cooker. Mark, kanji in your pricey rice cooker. Use your Instant Pot as your rice cooker. One less appliance account. But we got the rice cooker, Island Candies. Unless he's going to return it, which we are not going to do. We got to use the rice cooker. I think we need to use the rice cooker in the next it, week. It's it's a really fancy rice cooker. It even... I'm not getting to enjoy it at all. It's been there for a year. No, the, no, the re- Okay. Confession. <gasps> I'm not ready for it. Should I leave the room? Of course. I've been wanting this rice cooker for the longest time and when i finally got it i was so excited that of course i want to use it like james made a comment one time he's like 
oh, we better like maybe film like the unboxing and using it. I was like, okay, but we never got around to it. So I'm, that's the reason why I'm not using it because I don't know if we're going to. No, I don't need to unbox it. I'm just like use, use it. it like a mobile, like, you oh. know, the 50 oh, no. side dishes. Oh, like... that is right. But no, we're never going to do that. So I just want to use it. Forget the 50s. We're not going to do that. I'm a realist. You're like optimist. Slash, it's never gonna happen. Ist, but I swear, last week there's one time when I was like, I'm the realist and you're the optimist. But it's changed, changed. Look, everyone's saying Julia is in Notting Hill. Mikey is trying to fight me tonight. Stove rice is better. Sorry, James. Is that true? No, this I haven't had stove rice. Is, have I? This is a no. Stove rice is really good. Like, oh, uh, stove rice is like probably the most like authentically tasting rice that you could eat interesting but it's hard to be successful every single time but this rice cooker uh it makes the perfect rice and also it makes freaking gaba rice and i don't even know what that is it yeah gaba great. rice so you don't know what gaba is it's like a really health benefit rice that takes away the germ <laughs> what when you say germ what do you mean by that like the germ the barrier around oh, the not rice like the bacteria. not bacteria germ <laughs> the other germ no it's a actually, special rice that removes it quicker is the opposite it keeps the germ so yes it germifies brown rice what and the germification process that's the that's the most health benefit but it makes it taste like fluffy white Yeah, rice. on Monday. Monday. Here, hey, how about this? We move the live stream to an electrical outlet, and all we do is make rice, and that's it. Okay. Would you guys watch that? And we just We're not make cook rice any... without any kimchi. Well, can we make, like, we can or... make, like, we can have, like, a few side dishes then. But literally all the cooking is, is we get to use the rice. You unbox the rice. I mean, unbox the, the box. We show the features. We make rice. We literally scoop a bowl of rice, and we just eat it. On there would you guys watch that would you guys watch that let us know in the chat um bonsai says i saw the rice cooker in hamzy's video please use i don't know who hamzy is who is that april 2nd fools <laughs> james loves ham but we haven't seen her recent videos but when she first did her real mukbang it was really fun we saw her before all of the controversy that she was involved it was with. fun but then like one Mm. like I, I can mean, watch like 12 of them but then after the 12th one i'm just like it's it feels it's, the same it feels like, the same it, like I'm, it gets I'm, but we're not putting down the creator because obviously the creator is doing something yeah. right because there's a captive audience that's watching every single and video i think that's how out. and the, i think that's how like youtube creators grow because they're just very consistent with that one note you know which is which is smart but us personally we can't just do one thing you know over and over again right so i think that's why we're not growing we're doing good wait let me get to share my screen let's see if it went up if it didn't i'm so embarrassed oh my gosh what and see <laughs> don't you have to go to it oh, I don't <laughs> now that's embarrassing oh, it's no it's stuck there no. so we had 21106 that means we gained 34 subscribers today I think we can earn, we can get to 36 subscribers. So if you are still watching this, let's get to 21142 before we, no, 143, because that means I love you. Oh. Before we end the stream, we're about to end the stream after we eat these and get to, uh, which rice cooker is it? Do you remember? Cuckoo brand. But Cuckoo has a lot of different models. We got the higher end one. Make rice three ways. <gasps> That would be interesting if you made rice three ways and we did a blind taste test. Okay, we'll do raw rice, no. uncooked rice, normal rice, and then burnt rice. That's not what I'm saying. One in the rice cooker, one microwave rice oh. thing, and one on the stove. And then one person is blindfolded. I mean, I, I don't have to be blindfolded the whole time, but like, let's say you make all of that and I literally am blindfolded. And technically all of them are different price points. The rice in the microwave is what dollar fifty two dollars for a thing i don't know how i don't even know how to make stove top rice i don't even know where to start do you, do you know how to make it yeah no rice water and you cook down the stove with the lid on until all the water evaporates or like 
But usually with the stove top, this one is authentic because the bottom layer is going to be a little bit more burnt and crusty. Oh, that's how rice is supposed to be. <laughs> I like Candy says, raffle the rice cooker. We would take care of it. No, we are not raffling it. We, we, it's been sitting in our garage for a year. I want to enjoy it for like a day. Sydney, the tomahawk steak was good. How was the oxtail soup? 211 likes. Did we take the shot for the 200 likes? Oh, I don't think we've done 200 I likes. Oh, we took keep the us away. accountable. Did we do the 200 like shots? I don't I don't think so, but we're going to let you guys let us know. So, yeah, I would watch it. There you go. I would watch. So that could be a concept for Monday. I don't know if we'll do it, to be, to be honest. Mikey says, stove rice wins. Rinse it a couple times before cooking. Oh, I'm missing out. <laughs> I've never had rice on the stove before. Ever. Well, okay. Um, you know the BCD rice? That's not the same, but... but in that vein? It's similar vein. You know the... Um, the stone pot that they serve the rice in. Mm. Yeah, the same concept. Okay, our mods are saying we did not do it. Y'all, I'm feeling things. Girl, you're feeling it earlier, I could tell. <laughs> How, what did I do? Any dessert tonight? Well, we're gonna eat the candies for sure. I don't know if we have dessert really. Do we? For sure, we want to eat the Easter egg with this pieces. Yeah. Eddie says I don't have a rice cooker. All stove cooked rice for me. Interesting. Eddie, you cook stove? You cook nengdi pot? Like really? It's I don't see work. you doing that. Yeah. You know, Eddie, I'm, we might want to purchase you a rice cooker. Oh, tastes like honey water. Full mark. Full mark. All right, let's let's dig in. We're caught up then on um, the light coal. So let's have one of these eggs. Eggs. Your oh my gosh! Is it egg shape? Oh, but it's peanut butter cream, which is different, right? than what's in normal Reese's. Cause well, I don't think I like the cream. That's probably why I never eat these. Like it's it's blended in with like caramel or something. But then when you eat a Reese's pieces, it's like peanut butter, peanut butter. The texture of this is different. Uh, Reese's pieces, I could 100% guarantee the inside is not just straight up peanut butter. I'm sure it's peanut butter mixed with like- Oh, maybe, but it's not as liquidy, I don't think. But you think this is liquidy? I don't know. Julie says the cuckoo rice cooker is 600, right? Oh my God, this is branded. Hey, no one told us if you only know about hard pulled eggs for Easter eggs. Okay, we're going to do Jansen super chat after oh! we take a bite because it's melting. But thank you so much for the $20 super chat. Oh, oh just take another damn shot. Okay, we'll do it. Cheers. Do we bite it in half? Or yeah. it? Oh. Uh -huh. No, this is the same. Mm. But they don't call it, they don't call it creme in the other one at all. Mm. Pretty good. Just saying. Come on, it's a lot of eggs you put in your mouth at once. Oh, this, because like when you eat the, when you eat the cups, it's like mm, so small, but these are good. How many are in a box? Four? Oh, yeah, four. We'll eat one on Easter Sunday. Julie's rice cooker with ten dollars. <laughs> All right, ready? Yes. Every single time, two Jansen. Oh my gosh, I feel so blessed. All right, ready? Okay. Jansen, 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 thank, thank you. you. We, we appreciate you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Why? Okay. 
Yeah. You're that type of queen. Mm, I mean, fun. It's kind of fun. I don't know why. I like doing that because it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> I don't know why. I did I did have a restaurant one time. You just like, having a fit. <laughs> Does no one else do that? Is this me? You do it a lot. <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> it is your first time here. Tell <laughs> it. Uh, answer these questions in the chat. And, and ask a question. Hurry. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Mm. Mm. Oh, Miss Cindy, we did not make this. This was made by um, Donovan. Mm -hmm. He makes these crowns and he actually has a side business where he sells them. They're so beautiful. He, it's even laced with these like LED lights, so it lights up. Yours light up better than mine. Mm. Because I think, yeah, but. Each one of these are, I could tell, like maybe hand hand beaded, beaded, yeah, hand beaded yeah. like yeah. like stones. It's such a good quality. So a couple of people are having issues with Discord. It's super simple. I'm sorry you're having issues. We didn't post the close up, so there are no images or videos of it yet. But once you um, download it and you have an account. You would just click on there's a little tab that says food and drink no what i what i'm eating today mm. if you click on that then you should be able to see it and then island candy says for discord which room is for everyone to talk like here in the live stream that would be the lounge under the voice chat so that's where you would hear people having conversations all right well i think we've had a successful oh stream you know like i we, need more wine drink more wine then Am I not on my second glass yet? Okay, I'll no, I'm going through my third glass by now. Oh, the, the Reese's egg, they're good. It's a good balance between, you know, the two. It's good. It's tasty. Yeah, it works on um, phone and computer, but I've had a easier time using it when I've been on my computer. Just because it's like a bigger screen, so you can. But see when it. I see the updates, I just use it on my phone. It's perfectly fine for update. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I just want to look at the updates. Yeah. So tonight we're not going to show the what I'm eating now. Of this one on Monday. I think those are Monday things. Yeah, so Monday. Mondays. We'll do I mean, Mondays. unless yeah. I guess the only reason we would show it is if someone was really looking for it. Yeah. Eddie says way easier on the computer, and you know Eddie's not even that tech savvy. He can get it. If he can get it, you guys can all get it too. Uh, Mikey said, has so much fun tonight. I finished a bottle of Riesling. Yeah. Oh, my. Riesling? Where's my glass of your Riesling? Oh, my gosh. Are you drink? I'm, I'm ready. Oh, Mikey, drink. I saw your prom picture. By the way, beautiful. And, oh, my gosh. That's, this is why I know we're in the same generation. Because those, like, you know, decors and the hairdo was so popular. Oh. Butterfly clips and like little, you know, little gems and stuff in their hair. Yeah, Mikey, I know what you're doing. It was Mikey's idea to even do that uh, idea. I didn't, I didn't know it was prom. Yeah, it's just, yeah, she was like, we should do that. And like a lot of the staff were able to like submit photos. It was really cool. Yeah. I submitted my photo, but it was like, I had to take a picture of a picture because I couldn't scan it in time. <laughs> We have a scanner in our off in but our office. The picture was like so the four girls are sitting on the bench and then the four guys are sitting in the back back, standing in the back, but then they did it by height order. So I was like this I was the shortest, I was on the end. But that's the best way to put like to um pose that picture, right? Because you wouldn't want to have like is it okay to have varying heights, or do you make the guys all kind of squat at the same level so everyone like I, I kind of think the variation would look better. Really? Yeah. See, I kind of thought that too. I don't like the ladder. I don't like the ladder look. No, I know it looked like the Neanderthal thing, and I was the least evolved one. Yeah, I don't like that. Right? Like I wasn't about that. So when I looked at it, I was like, "Who allowed this to happen?" <laughs> Can we see the wine label, please? Sure. Um, and if it doesn't come off clear, my we will post it in the Discord. We'll just take a picture of it. And 
post up. This is from Argentina. It came with our because we're NPR wine members, so it came with our shipment. And they, I don't know if you saw earlier, but they give little cards for each wine that they give us. So it says the region, the types of grapes, everything, and then they also do a recommendation food pairing. And because we made chimichurri, and they actually recommend chimichurri steak with this, we're like, perfect. Is chimichurri credited to uh, Argentina or Spain? Argentina, maybe. Argentina? So then that makes total sense. Like yeah. This dish. But then our chimichurri is not authentic because we added anchovies and capers. <laughs> That's right. You save that for your trivia question next time. Okay. Favorite ice cream, cookies and cream, or milk and cereal? Pre pecan praline. Oh, my God. Not butter pecan. It's different to me. Oh, they're totally different. Butter pecan praline. Pecan. Pecan butter, praline. Pecan praline. Different. different. Pecan different. praline is different. better than butter pecan. Alyssa says, is that white thing about the Joyer painting one of those command hooks? Yes, that's what we hang our wreath on. And there's no point in taking it down because then it'll just leave like an empty gap on our wall. So we just well, leave it around. Because like around. every year for our Christmas wreath, we put it on. We're yeah. like, let's just not have to waste money on new command strips. Let's just keep it. On. But it, it's, it's just nice keep it there. Sword, huh? Is it? I don't know. It's only following Elba, Elba apparently. Tofu says, James is always slaying with his t-shirts. It's not fair because I got this gifted. Otherwise, all the t-shirts that people like are the ones that other people get me. So it's always like the ones you get me or I get gifted. But my own deci decisions never works out. We are 5'7 and 5'8, like in between. Like both of us. Mm. So I think we're like 5'7 and a half. Sydney, good night. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we're going to do our outro. If you guys have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Check out one of our other videos after the stream ends and sign up to our Discord. I don't know if we're going to pop on there or not, but if we are, we'll see you there. I had so much fun tonight. This was great. The, yeah. the meal was great. The conversation was good. I'm not like super like buzzed, so oh. I can have a good Saturday now. So we're going to play our outro. Actually, let's raid first because I always forget to raid. Oh, we always raid. On Twitch, we're going to raid. Uh, let's raid. Let's raid Beats and Butts today. Mix it up. Okay, and I'm going to, yeah, see you on Discord. Mel's Mind says, you guys are cutest, thank you. Let's play our outro. Is this the outro, live stream Oh, outro? this music Ready? is really good right now. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.